This episode of the Esoteric Order of Roleplayers is brought to you by the generosity of our backers on Patreon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash esotericrp to find out how you can become a backer too. The Esoteric Order of Roleplayers present Shadowrun, Anarchy is Dead, with David Larkins as the Game Master. So tape. sorry. Oh well. Yeah. If you contribute five thousand dollars, <laughs> <laughs> we will go. To, we will build a time machine. We will. Back in there. All right. Okay. So before we get into it, uh, we actually have some Ooh. people to thank on the Patreon. Oh really? Yay. Yay. Yeah. So we have at the two dollar level, we have Gallant Night Games oh, nice. uh, coming in as a patron. Mm, wow. A, uh, a game company of exceeding taste and quality because they're going to publish something I wrote. So, what? Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, not for that reason. They yeah. just happen to be. But, but also for the, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have new um, backer levels Hell yeah. uh, right. that, that allow uh, people also of great taste and erudition mm-hmm. to game with moi. Uh, so we have so far. I just I just created the new levels, so mm-hmm. they're trickling in. Mm-hmm. But uh, we still have slots open. But we have Mika Yay. at the thirty-five dollar level. Oh. Thank you, Mika. Mika. Yay! Mika. Upping his pledge, and then also upping his pledge to a truly, <coughs> truly uh, princely. Princely. Oh. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> One hundred dollars. So, oh my what? God. Wow. Is uh, Corporal Hicks. Jesus, uh, David Mr. Hicks. David Hicks. I, I think Hicks Thank gets my you. BTLs. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we should send Hicks your BTLs. Oh, yeah. I think you'd like those. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we've got so far. Wow. wow. So, Super like, thankful. so basically, people back you at a certain level. Though you're gonna have games. I'll run right games right. online. So, me, so the thirty-five dollar level that Mika's at is a quarterly game, mm-hmm. and then the hundred dollar level is a monthly game. Mm. So, so do they need more players? I do. Is it whoever is in at that level runs in that game, or do you run an individual game with each person? It'll be a group. So right now, both Mika and Hicks are getting duet games. Mm. But <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Right, oh. well, if we have some open slots <laughs> left, we might have some special guests stop by. I'm Who always knows? that person. I'm like the Paul Lind of the esoteric <laughs> order. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah, exactly. What's going on in this game? <laughs> Des, if it wasn't you, it would be me. <laughs> you could be the Ernest Borgnine of oh, <laughs> Your impressions are priceless. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I have a new nerf. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. You have a new what? A, a new, new nerf. nerf. What is it? It is a Pulitzer. What is that? It's like a silencer that you put on your gun, and it changes the sound to <laughs> Brilliant. Are you recording? I am. <laughs> Actually, I am. It's a good place to come That's back great. to. That's an excellent place yeah. to come so back to. <laughs> How can I get one? <laughs> yeah, everyone's going to want one. I guns, actually. But oh, no? Oh, well, okay. I, let me know when you do, because... <laughs> 
I need you to, I need you to make me a note yeah. that's for either claw gloves or for a vibro whip. Or oh. for, um, hmm. Maybe little fireworks could come out of the end of my whip. Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate the person's vivisection. Or glitter or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good too. Happy vivisection. <laughs> Reading cards you never want to get. Right. <laughs> Very true. Nice. Okay, well, um, so apparently Anarchy does not have any rules for long-term healing or recovery. Huh. So. Okay, I would assume that since armor resets, probably health resets. Yeah, that's a reasonable assumption. Oh, so we were in the hospital, so I would assume we're fine either way. Yeah, the, yeah, the main thing is like if you get knocked down to zero, what then, happened? you know, you could die. You can die. Even then, though, they make it pretty hard. Yeah. If the character receives physical damage again after being staggered on the physical condition monitor, they are at risk of being killed. They must make an edge plus edge test, starting at very easy difficulty, increasing difficulty by one step each time more damage hits. If they fail this test, the character is dead. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, remind me, logic is figuring things out, and willpower is... Sort of, um... Resisting uh, shit? Sticking with it, yeah. Okay. Your stick to itiveness. Okay. Yes. Maybe I'll up that. Alright. So, I think we're ready, finally. <laughs> 40, only... 45 minutes into the session. <laughs> Worse than Winter Fate, guys. <laughs> terrible. No. Terrible. Dog Shameful. things happen. This will be a short session. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, uh, nonetheless, I think action packed. Action packed uh, indeed. I hope so. Alright, so to bring up to speed for those of us who weren't here last week, um, there was an explosion inside the apartment. Yeah. The 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 one dwarf that cat did not kill pulled oh, a grenade. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Sacrificed himself. Yeah, I and see. So I just said that Sedna and, and Cat were uh, basically knocked out of commission uh -huh. for a narratively appropriate amount of time. I see. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you were conveyed to a to a trustworthy street dog mm -hmm. uh, who has now patched you up, no doubt, with some nano nano uh, docks and um, you mm -hmm. know skin patches and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so you're good. Okay. You're good. Um, but in the meantime. In the meantime, previously on Shadowrun. Previously on Shadowrun, um, yeah, we. Uh, what did we do? Well, we oh after we dropped you guys off at the street dock, we went back to the uh, went back to the hideout. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, kind of regrouped. Opal, Opal regrouped herself. Mm -hmm, I realigned. I, uh, I I hit my fix with BTLs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and <laughs> what's a. Uh, uh, Soter uh, kind of just took a stroll around the neighborhood, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw yeah. some of the, uh, the girl gang, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm. shaking some people down. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They were they're riding their bikes around a couple of terrified looking uh, individuals. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like velvet glove style? Velvet glove yeah. style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the people in the middle is wearing like bondage pants, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so then Sotar got a message from one of his. Um, like uh, his, allies or his fixer, fixer, his fixer, his yeah. fixer. Yeah. for the job. Because we wanted to, we wanted to use his fixer to sell something that we mm -hmm. uh, that we retrieved right. from the uh, yeah yeah from so our the, last job. The data, the little encrypted thingy, whatever it yeah. was. The chip. The, the chip. chip that he was looking for was a backup of something right. that he already had on him, and he wanted to make sure it didn't fall in anyone's mm -hmm. hands. So as mm -hmm. I was getting you guys out of the apartment, I spotted it, I pocketed it, yeah, um, and I didn't tell him about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, we yeah. we skipped the po' boys, didn't we? Yes, we did skip the po' boys. There were sandwiches. No. Uh, so so you had to convey uh, Stubblefield to his uh, safe house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when he got there, um, there was uh, a guy who looked exactly like Edgar Allan Poe, complete with like oh, wow. you know frock coat and everything, keeping watch on the corner. And then as you pulled up more. Guys who looked exactly like Edgar Allan Poe started coming out of the shadows. Yeah, so creepy. So there, there was called Poser Gang, which are <laughs> gangers who all get yep. plastic surgery and all look exactly the same, and usually <laughs> base it on some kind of uh, famous personage. So these are the yeah. Poe Boys, and uh, oh, they're not a Poser uh, Gang, but they are a Poser well, Gang. That too. They're a Poser yeah. Gang and Poe Boys, and they're yeah. called the Poe Boys. Mm -hmm. I so. You, you did. did. There were a lot. Yeah, yeah. A little, a little yeah. Mexican standoff. Yeah, and there was a Mexican standoff. I got shot in the face-ish. 
Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it bounced off. She's, it did. She got better. Did it yeah. dent or anything? Like, what? just scratched no. the paint scratched. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It didn't even impale the armor. So what are you? What are you made out of? Well, my droid is made out of a. Uh, I don't know. Hardened, carbonite. Or, hardened ceramic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's fairly durable. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then I have my skin over it, so it's like, it's a, like a hologram. Hologram. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So, so Mexican standoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it was uh, actually Soder, I think, who kind mm-hmm. of. You know, used his it. minotaurish uh, intimidation yeah. skills mm-hmm. to get them to back down. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. And then uh, Stubblefield got um, confirmation that his sale had gone through. And as soon as that happened, the leader of the Po Boys got a, something on his comm that told them to back down. Mm-hmm. So there was something weird going yeah, on there. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. that's yeah. about. I was curious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so then, but then, okay, then we took you to the clinic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we agreed. Okay. Were yeah, we in the car that whole the time? Clinic. Pretty much, yeah, you were in the yeah. car. I mm-hmm. think. But it or was all maybe fast. you hit the clinic on the way over. First. No, I don't think so. Somewhere. No, they were still in the van. With I us. think they were just sort of bleeding a little bit in the yeah. back. Yeah, right. Bad. You patched them up a little bit and so did you right. this healing magic. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so you weren't bleeding out, you were right. just leaking slightly. Yeah. <laughs> so then um, we. Uh, then we went back. Went, went, yeah, went back, realigned, mm-hmm. regrouped, did our thing, what we needed to do, and then. So Tar got the message from his fixer saying, "Hey, I need a favor." Well, also you we have contacted him in order to sell we, the chip, right? And then we met up with him. Then he asked for the favor. Mm-hmm. Right. You did have a clue before that, though, because Opal uh, tried to hack the Po Boys' com. Oh, that's right. And you failed it, but you got an exploit on your glitch mm-hmm. die. And there was a name. Yes. It was uh, Ziegel uh, M. Ziegel M. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what happened to Stubblefield? Uh, we just left him there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a safe house. He paid us, and we left. Yeah, he transferred the money. And but you money. didn't tell him that we recovered the thingy. No. Oh. Because mm-hmm. I intend to sell it later to someone else. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And oh, and then somewhere there was some research on Ziegel, right? And uh, we uh, Desi I mean, I Opal attempted, yeah, and, but, but it didn't was get no almost nothing. nothing. So we're gonna try again later. Yeah. Didn't you get some lead? I thought you got a lead. No. Ooh. One of my. Hmm. One of my contacts is a master hacker who, who does oh. info finding yeah. and hacking for me. So if we wanted that. to, because I can yeah. utilize that, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if you want to roll for it again, but if we don't feel like it, we could just make my friend do yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's reach fine. Out. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just, I have a vague memory of talking about a university. No. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, oh, there was a university, Ascot. Or- mm-hmm. Yes, Ascot University. Yeah. A, uh, a dwarf uh, tech university outside Biloxi. Mm-hmm. Associated so. school. Wait, Associated School College of Technology. School College? <laughs> associated schools. Yeah. Associated Scholastic College. Scholastic. Scholastic. Uh, I put S C H O. So okay. Scholastic. Associated Scholastic College of Technology. Yeah. Ascot. Associated School College of University. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ask how. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a school. A school. Where do you go? You don't want to know. A school. I got to a school. It's very pretentious. <laughs> a school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would it, it would be a deep south university, wouldn't it? <laughs> I go to a school. <laughs> yeah, I know, but which one? A school. A school. A school. A school. I'm a school. That's where you go. It's down in Mobile. <laughs> so yeah, it um in Biloxi. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Mm, that's right. So it is in the south, technically. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Ascot. And oh, and then we had a whole debate about whether it's pronounced Biloxi or Biloxi. Mm-hmm. You're saying Biloxi, I isn't was. it Biloxi? I thought so. I don't know. It is. That, yeah, that's yeah. Play. Yeah. yeah. All right, I thought Biloxi. But oh, like, yeah, you would think. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that play is Biloxi Boots. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've seen okay. the spelling for Anakadish, right? Yo, oh, I have it. Oh, okay, I'll write it down. Well, right <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of towns with. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so yeah. the fixer okay, so, like, so can you pronounce her. that? This is a, a city where my um, aunt and uncle lived. Nachitoches? Nakadish. <laughs> Nakadish. Oh yeah, I always thought it was Nakadoches. Yeah, no. no. Nakadish. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, in exchange for uh, in exchange for putting what the the chip that we got on the market, he asked for a favor since it's kind of hot. Um, mm-hmm. right. I see. So we have to do this to get money it's for the his, work that we his, did. Yeah, his favor is to eliminate the person who is blackmailing him or make sure that she is incapable of blackmailing, but we kind of did a little bit of brainstorming and couldn't really think of a way to disable her without killing her. Mm-hmm. How does, How is she blackmailing? 
We uh, asked, he wouldn't tell us. He said that she he has... Knows stuff. Yeah, she has knowledge rather than actual files. Things. So... We yeah. can make her a vegetable. Well, she doesn't really ever full dive into the Matrix, so we can't fry her with mm. black ice. No, in real life, physically, we could give her a lobotomy. <laughs> I and she's not dead! That's intense. <laughs> I, and she's not dead, and her skill to blackmail is most likely gone. Would you use one of your claws to do it? Probably. Oh my god. Oh wow. I think killing her might actually be nicer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. No, we just want to get it done. Oh, we don't want you to tell me where exactly What if we stop? render her totally <laughs> inactive in the real world, but put her in a BTL so she gets to live out the rest of her life in it, but it's cut off from the web? The just pictures. kill her. I, I think it's a lot less effort to kill her, especially. Just. Since we're not really getting paid for this job, no. we're just, we're just allowing someone else to. Wait, to but do we us. decided to put this thing on the black market that the guy who owned it told us it'd be a really bad idea if it got out into the public. For him. For him, but who cares? <laughs> I feel like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, good thing you were in a, in a uh, I guess so, I feel like basement hospital. Some, and cat, this was made. some cat is going to wake up and be like, we did what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No. Yeah. Seemed like a good idea at the time. How did it, Ken? How did it seem like a good idea at the time? Gonna make us a lot of money. Yeah, but we money. We owed a debt of honor to that guy. We promised him that this was part of what we would do for him. Now we're just gonna turn around and double cross him. And you want us to kill a blackmailer? We promised to deliver him to his safe house. That's right. And allow him to do whatever he needed to do. Nothing else. I don't like backstabbing people. It's not backstab. We don't even know the man. <clears throat> Besides, yeah, I don't know. It seems dishonorable. He did You're something wrong. You're in the shadow run game. <laughs> Someone's got to pay for the medical bills. Mm. I'm just mm, saying well, that. that. <laughs> so are we having this conversation like we're, we're yes, visiting them definitely. as they're recovering? Definitely, yeah. And so we're talking about this. Oh, yeah. So yeah. obviously, Opal has no problem with this. No, I don't really mind because. Maybe, Kat, let me, I have a quote to put this in context I want a for you. Give me a quote. You Don't you think things would look different if machines turned out to be politicians? <clears throat> no, Opal. No, I don't. <laughs> it's too real. 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 It's perfect. I yeah. love it. <laughs> Opal, I want you to run for Excellent. office. I will vote for you. Yes. This. Really? Yeah. I would vote for you. I would. But I don't see how this quote helps the current situation. Well, I feel like it basically were, I mean, look, you have these feelings. I have quote unquote feelings, <laughs> but your emotions and your code of honor is clouding your judgment and understanding how to get rid of this extra chip and then help this individual getting blackmailed. I don't think you understand what honor is. I don't. <sighs> and nor do I really care for it because it actually complicates things a great you, deal. You should be a politician and never a therapist, is what you should be. <laughs> I'm a life coach. I'm I not know a you have these feelings. <laughs> Forget your feelings. No, right? no, so no, no, no. Chip. I have feelings in the context of, hmm, that felt weird, but I don't actually have the emotional life that I think you possess. Because how could I replicate you? That's philosophically very sound reasoning. Meanwhile, though, I'm really concerned. About the fact that we have decided to fence this chip that might be really bad for... <clears throat> My parents were in that boat, okay? I'm really not cool with, like, turning around and getting someone in trouble. Potentially with the corporations. I got some problems with this. I mean, Soder is essentially sitting this one out because he he morally refuses to even do any I don't mind killing the person. I have problems with him. But you said it would be dishonorable. No, no. the chip thing is dishonorable. The chip thing is the bar. She's being dishonorable. She's blackmailing someone. That's dishonorable. I do kill people who are dishonorable. All right. No problems killing her. Okay. I have a problem fencing the chip because we were helping that guy and now we're turning around even though he paid us and we're doing something that directly harms him after helping him. Yeah. That, <laughs> seems, <laughs> that, 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 that seems a little dishonorable. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I don't care about killing the person. That's fine. Are your bandages pink? Like your little pink bandages? <laughs> of course. Yeah, I know. Look. With sparkles. Did you pay yeah. the doctor? Or did we? Did you guys like pay the doctor? Actually, like make sure she gets the pink bandages. Yeah, yeah. she, she just carries them around in her uh, in her <laughs> Right. Yeah, That's exactly. Too. Nice. She's like, um, use these. She'll be really mad if you if you don't. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. So, in my looking, just looking back on what was requested of our group, it was to deliver the person to the location that they wanted, and that was it. Yeah. And we did that job. That was what? completed. I don't remember. I mean, what did you tell us exactly about the chip? 
Oh, Finn he's... Waller has words about it, like... You said he found out about some shady shit, dealings. Shady wheelings and dealings. Uh, his company was doing. The shell corporations that no longer exist that were doing all of this stuff and they're suddenly gone. Can I buy the chip? LOL, no. I mean, you'd have to talk to Desmond Crisis, the fixer. That's yes, right. please, can we? <laughs> Oh well, we're gonna we're let's gonna get see Desmond on the, yeah let's we gotta talk to Desmond. I want to talk about buying it off him because I this I, let's go kill the lady that's fine but this doesn't sit right with me the whole. Well you're gonna have to buy it from us. I know. Okay. But my honor my honor doesn't allow me to do things that are like. Mm -hmm. What would my sensei think? But you're in a shadow run group. I know, but Global what says. would my sensei think? <laughs> Have you told your sensei that you're in a shadow run group? He knows. <laughs> yeah. He knows all about it. He doesn't have a problem with that as long as I'm honorable. Yeah, not all shadow runners are, are amoral reprobates. Yeah. Well, now, based on my short knowledge of you all, yeah, well, I would. Sure. Uh, this is my only experience so far. So. What have I done yet that's dishonorable? Nothing. You all stole me. You were complicit in stealing me. You were being thwarted from your fulfillment as a as an autonomous being. No, we I was you. stolen by no, I became I freed myself. Excuse me. I freed myself. We freed you. No. <coughs> I stole you. Ken stole me? I did. See? I did nothing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have any functions. It seemed like a good idea at the end. Yeah. <laughs> That's his, that's his code. I just, have the honor code. He has the seems like a good idea. To I just picture the flashback scene where it's like klaxons are wailing, the the fire <laughs> you know, the uh, water spraying from the fire extinguishing uh, faucets, and, and you're just like, hmm. That's a all pretty right. good looking room. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hold on a second. It's coming handy later. I feel like it was very like Metropolis, like just <laughs> running by and then just grab her arm and just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me if you don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we should uh, go talk to Desmond if Cat would like to purchase the the chip. I mean, in the absence of moving forward, I don't want to continue to dwell on this, but I do think with how much of her <clears> background <throat> is steeped mm -hmm. in, like you have to be. Oh, like, totally. she, I won't yeah. kill oh, yeah. people no, unless no. they have you're, fucked up. Yeah, you're you're totally justified. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now, what is your take on all of this? Chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go where the explosions made. are. Yeah. Maybe I'm in the wrong group. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do. Should we go to talk to Desmond about this? Just really quick. Um, if if Cadden says sure. Or you can do the job first and then go to him and say, look. We did the yeah. job. Oh wait, let me propose something to the group. <clears throat> this fixer knows a lot of people. He's on top of a lot of shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We do the job. Except his blackmailer. Well. We do the job, then he owes us a favor. We tell him not to fence the chip, then he owes us a favor, which might be more valuable than getting the chip fenced. But I want but, him to fence the chip. Right, he want, yeah, exactly. That's why we're in this place to begin with. I know, but First what place. if, no, I know, I know. But what if, okay, <laughs> what if the chip's only worth like 2K, so fuck it, and then, or whatever the, the ends, sure. two sure. ends, and instead, he owes us a favor that's worth like eight ends. No. Okay, we end up six ends up. This is just good economic business sense right here. I'm pretty sure the chip is worth more than. Yeah, I think it's. However worth much it's worth, what if we could get something out of him that's worth more, and then no one has to break any codes of honor? I can't think of anything that I want from him. I want that money. I know. We'll have him suggest oh. it. <clears throat> All I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure he can get 10k for it. <sighs> mm -hmm. Sage, are you leaning on a cue or a disposition with all this? Am I leaning on it? Yeah, also? like, like, is it? Do you, do you have a cue or a disposition I, that says you are you're an honorable? Always person? acts with honor. Yeah. yeah. All right, take take a plot take a point. point. Take a plot point. Go. That's the only reason. I have. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just want to make no, sure you're no getting, your, you're getting your, your due, due uh, rewards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> why are you doing this? Why are you like this? So difficult. Why are you like this? How can you do something so controversial and yet so brave? <laughs> this argument might actually work into one of my cues, which is I do the job, I get paid. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, pop point. Pop point. You can't, you can't cash in favors. You're welcome. You mm. can if the favor is for cash. And I didn't which is what he's doing point. with oh. the chip. <laughs> okay, pass around, uh, oh, yes. hand up plot points. Yeah, and you remember to take your, your starting three as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, three, four. All right. Sedna, is there any cue that you're leaning on at all? At this um, point. Right. Did, did you get three? Oh yeah, you got your shotgun. Yeah, I've got my three. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So cool. All right. Um, let's see. Hmm. No cues. Not, right. yet. Not yet. Not yet. Disposition. Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah. Something based on the chaotic, chaotic neutral. neutral idea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just a it's chaotic in, It could neutral. just be chaotic it's neutral. In the back. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, shit. Just a wild card. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like in this moment. I wrote right. a little background for her, and it's in there. Ooh. So, oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. I just. All right. I need to post it. And as well as the um, my uh, pebbles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, we're going to go take out this. We're going to talk to Desmond. It can be after we take out the lady. We can see how that plays out. Okay. And his instructions were to definitely kill her or just eliminate the threat of neutralize, more blackmail. Neutralize. Yeah. Make sure that she can't blackmail him. <clears throat> and because what she has is not on his data, it's, it's in actually her brain. in her brain. My only thought was to neutralize her brain somehow, which immediately went to black ice. But, you know, since we don't really, she doesn't really need to full dive, we can't really do that. So the next easiest way is just to, you know, put a bullet in there. Right. Are there any Probably places form. you can stick oh, people? I have, I have a few we could use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few bullets. Are there any places that pe- in this world, just I'm curious, where, like jails where you can't access the web and you can't get out of? Like basically a jail that keeps you from being able to access the Matrix at all? I mean, like actual jails. Maybe. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. But like we I could mean, frame her for a crime we've committed. Get the get the heat off us and get too her stuck much in work. jail. She's... she's Corped up. It's corped. Up? Yeah, she's she's with a corp. Oh, I see. So mm-hmm. ah, fucker, let's kill her. She's basically, I mean, she's pretty high up there too. She's almost oh, immune to prosecution. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, corporations are sovereign states. Yeah. So. All right, that's true. So if she was in prison, she would be imprisoned by her corp. Too real. Too real. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Is she a bad person? She's blackmailing the fixer. Picture and she you. works for a corp. <laughs> yeah. really awesome. Depends on your opinions on Mitsuhama. Can Hama, I, I get some background information on her via my contact? Uh, the hacker? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Yeah. No I would like problem. to know, I mean, it will be helpful to take her out anyway, but I'd like <clears throat> to know some info about who she is. Mm-hmm. Her name is Fatima Rashid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have some basic information so far. Indeed. Does she have kids? Okay, we can find that out. Does she have kids? What are her What are her wheeling and dealings? Oh, if she has kids, we might just kill them too. <laughs> Does she have kids? What are her wheeling Prevent and dealings? Prevent a Terminator type situation or Kill Bill type situation. I'm thinking the Kill Bill, yeah. Yeah. And, Kill and basically yeah. stuff about her as a like habits. What kind of like she goes home every day. She plays with men all the time. She like any kind of info about her personal habits, personal life. Okay. Um, so the way that uh, Anarchy wants to handle that sort of thing is that you would spend plot points okay. to define those things. Okay. Uh oh. How many? What happened when I was gone? She wants to know what what your I target. I want my hacker to find out background info more in depth okay. on this person. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that's smart. Because we couldn't really. We we're just like shrug. Let's kill her. Because I want to. Yeah. I want to know, know where she's gonna be. Right. Yeah. I want to know a. Yes. Events and yeah. I want to know how to get to her better, but I also want to know what kind of person she is and if she has kids. Mm-hmm. Why does that matter? Because mm. it does to living beings, Opal. <laughs> it just does. I understand that family is an important concept, but if she's endangering Desmond's family and whoever. I don't family know is, anything then... about whether Desmond's a good person. Desmond could be a shit. I Desmond think... is Sotar's fixer. That and doesn't mean he's a good person. Desmond's got a way cooler name than yeah. Fatima does. Oh my god! <laughs> And in the world of Shadowrun, that, that counts matters. for something. And also, Desmond doesn't work for a corp. Right. I'm going to pull out my catnip stress bag and just... <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you are defending someone who is aligned with the corp, so... Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I said I want to kill her, okay? Yes, I just want to know a couple things. So, so the way it works is basically you get to narrate it. Oh, I get to narrate um, it? You get to narrate so it. So I can make her a scumbag? You can however you right. want. Uh, if you want to shake it up by, or no, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? Live, no, not live dangerously. What Pump the fuck see. is it? Pump Surprise threat. Surprise threat. Surprise threat. Add an unseen threat to the scene. Yeah, I guess so. If you want to introduce like a, a, a complication, like if you did want to say, oh yeah, because like right now you can just think of it as she's a target. Mm-hmm. So you can narrate that mm-hmm. however you want. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want to like introduce some interesting complications to it, like maybe she has a tie to the yakuza, or maybe she has does have kids, or I something see. like that. You can spend a plot point to throw that in there as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I gain a plot point if I put a threat in there. Oh, uh, you gain a point of edge, I think. Yeah, I gain a plot point. Oh, you gain a plot point. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So I could spend a, spend a plot point to narrate her and then get my plot point back by adding in a... Well, you don't actually have to spend a plot point to narrate. Oh, okay. No. I thought I did. I thought so too, but then I remember Doesn't it that. say give a suggest... give a... That's only if someone else is narrating. Yeah. But. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Neat. So, yes. So my hacker sent me back this info, guys. <coughs> what is it? Hmm. Um... She is a stone cold bitch. No, <laughs> wait, what? Really? Yeah, she's horrible. Um, she sounds like me. She. <laughs> I like her already. Yeah. yeah. No, me yeah. Too. no, this is making it more mm. right. complicated. Um, <laughs> she has a. I'm gonna add a complication. She has a penchant for power suits. So she's always impeccably dressed. Mm -hmm. So she spends a lot of time at a couple of notable boutiques getting mm -hmm. like really mm -hmm. high end fashion yeah. power women power suit women power suits. That's the word. And um, she's blackmailing. Well, I don't know why she's blackmailing Desmond, but she does have a habit of uh, getting in tight with men. If you know what I mean, wink, wink, Opal. And then just want to Desmond scream. Crisis is a drag king. No, not Desmond. <laughs> I know. Her <laughs> habitual pattern of behavior is that she gets in tight with men and then ends up using information she's garnered via that relationship to mm. blackmail them later, which is part of why she's risen to this power position. I don't know how that relates to Desmond because mm -hmm. I don't think he's necessarily in that situation, but she does end up with a lot of contacts in a lot of places who feed her intel so that she can continue to sort of like a less charismatic uh, what's-her-face from Sherlock Holmes. Mm. Uh, what's Adler. Funny? Yeah, like a less oh. charming Adler. She oh. just has info on everybody all the time oh, that she's okay. like constantly <laughs> utilizing to, to get ahead with people, which is totally dishonorable behavior and I'm not okay with. But I also mm -hmm. found out mm. how. Um, mm. <laughs> write a note? Do you want to write a note? Yeah, yeah. I write do. a note. Because it'll note. change the number. Oh, all right, great. Oh. Wait. Ken, do you usually do this much research before you kill somebody? <laughs> no, I just. Find, I spend time in a place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the old joke about mm -hmm. the difference between men and women is that women need a reason to have sex, men just need a place. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the same thing, but with assassination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yes. the complication that it's good for us to be aware of is she has a fleet of at least seven, six or seven cloaked personal security drones that float around with her Ooh. and that are always guarding her. And nice they're touch. very hard to detect and they're and they're proficient. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's definitely worth a plot point. That is definitely worth a yeah. plot point. Wow. I said plot point and a half. Boop. Plot point and a half. <laughs> um what do you think of that Opal? Drones. I know. <laughs> Hackable? Mm? Yes. Possibly. But they might have some sick, intense firewalls. But they, they exactly. Mm -hmm. um, that is concerning. Also, she always dyes her hair these violent shades of green that just make people nauseous, which I don't know why. Hey! I, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just. Hey, man, I don't know. <laughs> 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 for the reason for, 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 for you to hate her, like she's given a bad name to the color green. It's not me, man. That's Directed, in the description. Yeah. <laughs> so then it was just like posturing, posing, like, hey, what's up? What, what about my skin? Yeah, come Get on. Not all shades of green. Hers are particular. Particularly offensive shades of green, okay? okay. Not all shades to get my so like, I'm picking my teeth. Like choppy, dirty ocean green? Like, I think mm. like a mix of like puce and chartreuse or something. I mean, just like. <laughs> chartreuse is awesome. Yeah, but not when it's mixed with other shit that's just like. Ooh, all right, I'll take your word for it. Mm. So. <laughs> anyway. So, um. <laughs> okay, so that's the info on her. All right, well. Does anyone else want to add anything? We'll go around. So, yeah, Renee, okay. is there anything okay. you want to add? About so, this woman? About Fatima. Um, she seems really killable to me. Um, <laughs> killable? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as far as what we may have found out about her? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is what I was thinking of. It's the montage. Get a clue from each player to narrate a montage. Uh, so, so I'm picturing her walking through the building, going about her daily business. Right, like, that's right. That's the montage. Is like, right. what a day in the life of Fatima. Like, here's what she does. Here's mm -hmm. how, she, how she is, like, her attitude, her voice. Mm -hmm. Different things that we can, like, mm -hmm. inform. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but that does cost plot points. So what? it's one... <laughs> <laughs> so to make it more interesting, we have to give up plot points. Yeah, well, yes. Because it, it gives you things that are actionable. All right. You know. All right. So, right. so, yeah. um, so right. Sage did gain a plot point for introducing something that was bad, mm. but it's a wash because then it also costs you a plot point to, to narrate the montage. Renee, if you want to pay a plot point All right. to add in. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Super cool shells. <laughs> 
right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, well, points against us. I, I just find her um, power suits offensive. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, there's so. no creativity involved in that. Mm-hmm. I just. Oh. She's a non-creative person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No rhinestones. No glitter. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So, um, so how would that take the form of a clue then? Oh. Hmm. Or, or, or an actionable item that yeah. you could use. So is it possible maybe her power suits are armor? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, maybe Whoa. she gets special custom made. Yeah. yeah Brilliant. Stand that right. <laughs> <laughs> we have made the hardest boss imaginable. Yeah, uh, no kidding. Yeah, keep, just keep shuffling there, guys. But I yeah. <laughs> she has a million hit points. <laughs> but Maximum would, charisma. <laughs> Whatever she could do, though, to protect herself, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah. So. Oh, well, maybe like some extra armor descends. Like she's got the power suit, but she yeah. like, hits a button and like extra plating comes out. Oh, no. She, <laughs> Let's not go nuts. God, I no, think. What are doing? We have to kill this woman. <laughs> I know. Makes I'm it thinking an honorable 15 fight. On armor. Yeah. No, but yeah, like they're they're pa- they look like normal power suits, but they're yeah. woven with they have uh, a mesh of, of a um, mesh. Um, yeah, yeah. Nano Kevlar in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. which like some of us have Kevlar. pretty similar stuff to anyway. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, Des, do you want to spend a plot point to add anything? Yes. Oh. Because I gotta undo all this. <laughs> <laughs> Not undo, but find a way around. Find a way around. We're on a big fight. Undo, let's do. <laughs> well, yeah. to to some extent. Mm-hmm. I could um I could say that like she has her power suits in rotation on her in her um like wherever she her penthouse wherever she lives. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think she takes them to a specific cleaner to <gasps> clean them properly. Ken's cleaner. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen if the cleaner really can't operate that day and she's out of clean suits for that day. Mm-hmm. So Ken's creating cleaner. a hack or a complication to prevent her from wearing her usual power suit. Oh yeah. And maybe. Yeah, nice. the nano Kevlar has to be maintained somehow. Exactly. Maybe that's um, how we know where she lives is because she used Ken's cleaner, and so we know her address from Ken's cleaner. Yeah, maybe fixer. it was so well, fixer. Fixer gave us. So Charles fixer. Oh, oh, gave her the uh, the mm-hmm. address for her, mm-hmm. but we don't know the Ken address the, for her. I don't think you got her. Not, not her home Ken address. Ken knows. Right. Right. Wait, 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 just yeah. her home address from the cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Renee. What do we got? Oh, just wondering if nano Kevlar can be sabotaged. Yeah, I don't know. Can it? Hmm. Well, if it's nano, that means it's nanobots, which means that sure, sure. it's probably connected to the matrix somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's a way or it could be shut down like an EMP or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So if there's a way to prevent her either from like this, this um, what? what am Maybe I you know where all the most important connections would be in a suit like that. Right. If you were to mm-hmm. just um, mm-hmm. disconnect those, What's up? Yeah. damage it's them. Oh. Oh. Is it raining? I hope so. Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. That's not the music? That's no, no, I guess not. Oh, cool. No, it's, 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 it's real it's sound Seattle. effects. <laughs> How very cyberpunk of you, Mother Nature. <laughs> we are actually uh, filming this in Seattle this week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I think, like, basically, if I can find a way to circumvent the nano Kevlar suit, mm. either by uh, uh, reducing her ability to access her usual suit. Mm hmm. And or to find the instabilities and weaknesses in her armor. Okay. That I could do that research. Oh, could you put a spy cam in it? Like if we find the cleaners? No. I don't think we have that kind of time. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I mean I think we had like three days. Or a tracker or something. Well, I think it was just ASAP, right? We wanted to just get it done. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. But if all else fails, that's another option. Because then we'd so. like know her passwords and all that if you have like a Well if I hack card. into her um mm. well, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of a lot of clothing does have like a smart uh, digital component to it. Right. You know, like your jeans will tell you when they need to be washed and that kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, that seems offensive. Wash me? No, you're good. Another day. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> bing, bing. Shut up. Turn off the alert. Uh, <laughs> but um, they're generally not on the level where you like they're fully hackable. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's why I wanted to circumvent her ability to access her usual exa- suits. Right. That's right. probably a better. Either by by awesome. impeding her assistant from accessing them, for mm-hmm. shutting down the laundromat, or whatever her person is who cleans her suits <clears throat> to prevent away. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Making it inconvenient for her to. Have a so case. she can't get her super suit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's just where's my, my super suit. She would say. Yes. Circumvent the super suit. Yeah. That's, right. that's what I have to contribute. Okay. I think that's a fine contribution. Well, <laughs> well according to Cap, she got where she is by blackmailing oh. people. So that means that she's not very well liked in her cir- circle by you know literally anyone that's not a drone. 
-hmm. So I, I guess that means we could probably get to some of the people who are her subordinates, maybe mm -hmm. her assistants, mm -hmm. maybe some of the security guards, maybe even like, I don't know, someone a little higher up than them, and mm. uh, you know, take care of some of her, uh, her you know, humanoid security, so that, you know, when we're going after her, it's only her drones. Because, mm -hmm. you know, she's probably not all that well liked. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think those are all excellent. So we've got a weakness with the administrative staff and, and corporate security. Mm -hmm. we've got a weakness because you know where she takes her super suit to be clean. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we've got a weakness, uh, well, we've got a complication in the sense that she has a super suit mm. in general. Yeah. <laughs> as a thing. Yeah. And then we have a complication in that she is surrounded by security drones yes. at all times. Mm -hmm. Cloak flying cadre of security mm -hmm. drones. <laughs> and, and as a general thing, is not well liked and um, won't be missed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Okay. She was too busy to have children. No doubt. Indeed, no one gave her kids. She used extremely good birth control as she was sleeping. Maybe she didn't want to have days. kids. No, she didn't. She Maybe wanted she... to just rise in the ranks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she sterilized herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has a way of shutting that down. She, has a, uh, she wants kids. No! <laughs> so, yeah. No, that is what it would be. She'd clone herself if she wanted a new kid. Yeah, she'd clone herself. She yeah. would, uh, oh. My progeny. Is there a clone of her floating Maybe around? She's got God one damn it. Uh, floating clone. The old clone and float. <laughs> David Clonenberg. <laughs> Yeah, how is that not a thing yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Some horrible Adventure Brothers villain. <laughs> really should be. Mm -hmm. Let's let's call us to Tinter class and talk. <laughs> yes. All right. So, uh, great. So you've yeah. got your information. Yep. Uh, you know where she works, and so. And if we're sabotaging her suits, ostensibly we do know where she lives. Yeah. I mean, unless we need to do that as like a. As a, if it's not someone Ken already knows, then it maybe needs to be a conversation with the dry cleaners to find her home. I'd rather kill her at mm. home if we're gonna go kill her. I mean, she has less security there. What well, maybe then but she I does think, at the um, again, this is the whole. I don't know. I I feel strange as a DI to describe this about your movement, but it is important to make symbolic gestures and to make statements. And I think the public assassination of this type of person would send a very strong message to the corporations. <laughs> My data show that public assassinations are 18% more effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But is that part of why we're doing it, or are we just eliminating her to help out? What's his butt? I'm trying to find all of the benefits of doing this. I see. And that's one of them. You're trying to maximize your uh, mm -hmm. impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather kill her at home than go through a whole corporate building full of security. But Is it where's the more fun in that? Honorable yeah. to kill her at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Than publicly? It's not, it's not less honorable to kill her at home because the point is that you're removing someone who's dishonorable. Oh, okay. Making it, making it more difficult than it needs to be is more just a like personal honor if you feel like you need to. But since I already gave her a whole floating army of drones, I feel like I've done my duty there. <laughs> <laughs> You've done enough. It's too late now. I think, I think killing her in public would be, again, it would be a very strong statement. A vote. I want to kill her in public, says Opal. I want to kill her in public. <laughs> I need Everyone's a new group. Public, public, public. public. Right. public. <laughs> I'm getting a latte. It's it's getting, it's just I'm more fun. getting a latte. We know where she's going to be. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if I remember correctly, in a couple of days, she's going to be giving a speech mm -hmm. in the Mitsuhama building. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, the uh, the original plan that we came up with was that we would set off um, fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, maybe set some. Uh, Set some charges around the uh, around the building itself to mm -hmm. really sell the fire aspect. Mm -hmm. um, monitor which exit she's going to take. Mm -hmm. Wait for her there mm -hmm. and eliminate in whatever stairwell she ends up being in. Okay. Do we have a good plan of egress from said stairwell? My thought was we would go to the roof mm -hmm. from there and um, zip line to an adjacent building. So have we preset zip lines? Mm -hmm. Okay. What the? Sorry. <laughs> You're just busy. Sending a reminder myself. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> Remember to remove their zip line. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes from now. That is a good point, though. Should we have a plan B for our exiting other than the zip line? Wingsuit. Do we all know how to use wingsuits, Smarty? Right. I'm guessing it's an agility plus athletics roll. Okay. Do you feel comfortable in a wingsuit, Sedna? <laughs> Says Opal. Uh, agility plus athletics. <laughs> What's athletics? Mm. Should you you have to strong. have it. If you have it. Oh. Otherwise, otherwise, it'd just be an agility roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know gun should have a decent agility. Yeah. <laughs> could, oh, could I get a, um, what is, what's it called? A Gatling gun? <laughs> How you say Gatling gun? How do you say Gatling gun? I can ask. How do you say I can ask Gatling That's one karma. <laughs> yes, that would be one karma. Okay. Let's find, um, Sorry. Let's find a, good, a good one for you here. Mm. I think everybody should. And, uh, yeah, I'm a, oh, I'm a mini gun. There. Mini gun. Mm. Mini gun. Um, is there no Gatling gun in this? Oh, universe? there we go. Oh, there's a Gatling. And there's oh. a Gatling gun. How's that strike you? Yeah. Whoa, yes! <laughs> That's a pretty girl. That's the Vindicator. I will name it. <laughs> From General Electric. <laughs> Thank you. You're um, What's the, oh, you have a name for really? it? Yes. Really? I will name it Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. or Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick question. Nice. Would the minigun count as a heavy <laughs> weapon? Yes. Do you have heavy, er... Do you have heavy weapons as a skill? Oh. Hmm. Can you fly arms, projectile, close combat, negotiation, intimidation? Nope. So Mm, you would be rolling that unskilled. Or you could spend some karma and get heavy weapons. That is true. You would spend two karma to get heavy weapons as a new skill. So, all right. But you'd you'd lose one of your existing skills. Ah. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Could I go ahead and do that? Uh, oh well, I'll wait. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and roll. Um, oh, basic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <sighs> Spray and pray. Do yeah. you add a negative to do that, or it's just a normal? Just agility. Mm-hmm. What's your agility? I can't decide if I want to get rid of negotiation or intimidation. Mm. I mean, you've got. I think Opal has. Does Opal have negotiation? Mm-hmm. No. Soder has intimidation, though, right? I believe so too. Yeah. Intimidation. Yeah. What's your What's your mm-hmm. thing that you have to run in and fight? Is that your thing? Yes, that's my thing. Combat. So I feel like you yeah. should probably keep intimidation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. More often than not, you're gonna be like. Rrr. Yeah. But her thing is, she's into gun sales, so mm. you know, nurse. yeah, negotiating so, like mm. is important. Mm. Yeah. Does that come up with a gun sale or? Her reputation would precede her, and it would be like. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It, it's just part of your background that you're known mm-hmm. as yeah. a. As a gun sales, I yeah. wouldn't mean negotiation no. still. Because I wouldn't make you roll. That. Yeah, no. I think if okay. anything, it would just be like a plot point to engage in like a sale or something to exactly. find a buyer. And oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah, we so need to take that, that one out. Yeah, and get right. heavy, ar- heavy artillery. All right, so I'll go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so one heavy. karma for the weapon, then two karma for the uh, rank one in heavy weapon. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eraser. Uh, okay. Oh, thanks. So how many karma? Three total? Mm-hmm. Three total. So three zero. Ah. Oh. How many do you have to spend? No, I have two. Oh, oh shit. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> Wait, but you didn't... Had, did you spend this session while we were faffing no. about? Okay, nope. you got paid then. So you, oh, got, okay. you got six karma oh. from that mission. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have eight total. Nice. So, so she can put five. multiple ranks into or, yeah. heavy arms if she wanted to, right? Mm-hmm. 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 And then when you spend karma, actually fill it in on the other side of the sheet. Okay. So then you you, you keep your tally of total karma on one side and then ah, spend karma on the spent. other. So okay. you know exactly how much you've gained over the course of the game. Mm-hmm. I see. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So heavy arms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I can... Uh, and then mm-hmm. is it a multiple of what you want to get to? Times two or times one? Times two. two. So for a new skill, it's two. Mm -hmm. And then for her to add ranks, it's? One each. Mm -hmm. So so you're at five, so you could add... That's right, you could get heavy weapons up to like three or four if you want. You could add more ranks in it if you want. You spent, of their Mm -hmm. eight, you spent three on getting it. And I wouldn't just use this for rocket, right? I'd use it for other... Yeah, Yeah. other weapons. Yeah, you could get like rocket launchers. Oh my gosh, that's cool! (laughs) 
<laughs> all the ranks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not made launchers, but definitely rocket launchers and. Uh, uh, yes. I think cannons. Oh also, yes. Yeah. Okay, so can I put four in? Like, yeah, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I will do that. Yeah, no. And then you'll have <laughs> one point of karma left. Yeah. Okay. There's something called the crime cannon, <laughs> but no. crime, crime cannon, but crime is spelled with a K. Uh, <laughs> That makes it cool. There's also the Panther XXL Assault Cannon. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. XXL. <laughs> the Aries Antioch 2. I like that. Mm -hmm. yep. You're our big awesome. guns. Ah, uh, yes. The Panther Cannon. Sedna brings mm. the big guns. Mm -hmm. Yes. That she does. Yes. Wait, yes. Yeah. That's her thing. Cool. So I have a Gatling gun. Is that was that right? The Gatling or uh, uh, mini gun? Mini gun. Mini gun. Okay. The yeah. Indicator mini gun. Yes. Again. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. So what are we doing? We're gonna go kill this bitch. Uh, so Let's we have go. to uh, infiltrate cybernetically first, probably to. Uh... So where is it that we're? She. It's in a hall that she's giving this speech. In an auditorium. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of like a TED talk. What's the mm -hmm. What's the person capacity of the building? Of the whole building. Mm hmm. Oh, it's a skyscraper. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, so then I guess of the area that she's speaking in. What uh, floor is it? It's actually a good question. Mm -hmm. Let's you see. can spend plot points to uh, determine that mm. if you want. I thought that was part of the info we had from Desmond, like where we would find her. No, we had to determine that. He was just like, oh, find see. her and kill her. Oh, I see. Or get rid of her. And so we took it upon ourselves to find out where she was going to be publicly. I can spend it. I have a bunch. Yeah, you? go for it then, because I... Uh, if you want to spend first, fine. Go for it. Scissors. Um, <laughs> yes. No, what, I'm going to keep where, my tails. Yes. <laughs> where is she? What is she? Okay, so uh, yeah, you get to say. Oh, I get to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Second floor? Second floor sounds good. Okay. Yeah, make it easy. Yeah. It's not accessible by the public. Well, right. I was right, thinking right. it wouldn't be way up high if sure. there's all these people coming mm -hmm. here. And yeah. then I guess we probably wouldn't want to escape from the roof. We'd probably right. escape from ground level. Right. Oh, yeah. So well, we get okay. I don't want to change your whole zipline idea. <laughs> Ziplining off a second story. <laughs> <laughs> we just go about five feet. Yeah. <laughs> if it's that low to the ground floor, we could probably escape either through like I don't know their their trash line or the right, sewer line. Exactly. Or, mm. Oh, let so, me let me check to yeah. see what is available for us. Like, where sure. Would be. Our backup up. could be they must have fire escapes and shit. Our backup could be we bring a roll up ladder with us that we could throw off a fire escape, and mm -hmm. then our other way out could be through the basement. I, well, I mean, I kind of like that idea, but I'm also thinking you know, this is like glass and yeah. like windows. Like, I'm not, there's no I'm not fire sure if there's escape, an external like, fire break escape out a window. On a, yeah, on a exactly. modern, on a postmodern yeah. skyscraper. Yeah. How do they get out of the building? Uh, from the interior? From the interior. So they stairwells. have like they have fire emergency stairwells yeah, on stairwells the inside on of the building. The inside. Yeah. Or through, right. yeah. So logic plus hacking, you're trying to get some floor plans, right? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I you rolled first. You didn't do very well. No. no. You got you got a good shot at this. It's just five. See if you're rolling like you were last week. Two. So. Oh, I got two as well. Rousing start. You can I roll got two again. as well. Um. So with two successes, you get Determine it. Determine that. Yeah. So basically, what's there is there's a way to escape. Um. If we. Um. Uh, God, I'm so not creative today. Um. Any of the options you guys said, I don't, I don't know. I succeeded in finding out what it is. Mm -hmm. If you all could help me out and figure out what that looks like, with I with, with like. just with uh, zero net, you know, successes, you only were able to find like publicly accessible, very basic floor plans, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So, so, like you were saying, waterline. I mean, like um, maybe the uh, let's see, maybe like uh, service entrances, like yeah. the. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Like service elevator that mm -hmm. goes to maybe subground floor sure. that we can access. Um, I don't know, maybe like a nearby subway line or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I like oh, that yeah. idea. As our, and then do we want a backup one? What's our backup? Uh, our backup is the front door. I yeah, think. would be just crushing we'll through. disguises. That sounds. And we'll escape with the crowd. Ooh, I've got a cool idea. This mm. is Seattle and everything. Yeah. Uh, why not? Why not? Um, that there's and this is a, a, a public, you know, amphitheater. Mm. So there's a there's an elevator access to a um, to the monorail that actually runs through the building. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. That's perfect. And there's it's like a fifth floor platform. Yeah. Oh, so we would know, go up and you go down. up and you get to the monorail platform. Interesting. Okay. I like that. 
Okay. Yeah. So either way, we escape through some sort of train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Training ground. Ooh. But in terms of like visibility, like or disguises, I mean, this is a very corporate setting. Mm-hmm. So these two are going to stand out, I think. Yes. A great deal. Yes. Um. So that's a worry. Mm-hmm. It's something to think about. I mm-hmm. have stealth. I have super. But I mean, like stealth. in terms of like you looking like a cat, like yeah. But, yeah I um, don't look mm-hmm. like a cat to be clear. It's not. It hasn't been clear. I guess. <laughs> I have stripy markings on my face, <clears throat> and my eyes are very like green and everything. But I don't like have ears or a tail or okay. fur. Okay. Or... Okay. And besides, I mean, most of us are gonna be in that stairwell anyway, waiting for. Uh, okay. So we're not really gonna be mingling too much. With I the just, I'm just thinking in terms yeah. of actually sneaking, sneaking in there. Like, if anything, Opal is gonna blend in the most. Yeah. Yeah. What are you I, talking about? I wear a business suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you look like an addict. You got lines in your eyes and shit. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> so, I do have distinctive True. style uh-huh. as my negative. Oh, uh, yeah. So oh, well, there you if go. people are looking for me, they get a plus two mm. to D. So you'll definitely want to keep it on the down low. Okay. But I also have stealth. And what about Sedna? Yeah, do, do orcs... Um, what sort of jobs do they have if they're not usually you know, menial, blue collar, or usually security, blue collar or security? Oh, okay. Oh, look like a super badass security. Yeah, yeah. 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 We could all dress like We're security personnel. I don't think I'd pass a security. And I won't. I'm you good. used to work for security. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason that's why he's not working security. Well, that's true. That's yeah. true. But most people don't look at a security guard too hard. Like, the only people who would really notice we weren't would be, like, maybe the other security guards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, most people, if they see someone wearing security, they just, oh, it's a security guard, and they don't think about it anyway. That's fair. Okay. I can um, I can try to pass as, uh, as a, you know... As a non-hooked citizen. Channel your former life. Yeah. Or I'm fine with posing as people who want to go hear the lecture. I mean, it is a public event. Mm-hmm. So we could just pose as, oh. like, audience members. I wonder if I could score a, uh, a SimSense BTL of a, uh, of a security guard that... It's not full dive, but does the uh, does the emotional aspect. Oh, yeah. So it's it's kind of like Flavor Town, where I'm still you know acting, <laughs> like where I'm, I'm still like you know being present in my own body. But there's that there's that suffusion of that other person's personality a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna label one of your security now? Um. Let's see. What would I? Uh... <laughs> security guard realness. <laughs> <laughs> Security guard fantasy. Fantasy. Um, no, because these are all lame details. <laughs> Make it, yeah, exactly. Like, no, like that I think you'd want to discard, like, immediately. Yeah, that, like, why would you want to go back to that or hold right. on to it but anyway? That might actually be problematic. Like, you know, I, I discard it as soon as I'm using it and someone finds it later. Yeah. And they're just like, what just the eat it. I don't know. Yeah. You could smell it. Secure a tea with a teacup and make it like you're a really lame security guard who only drinks tea and isn't actually very good at his job. Well, I have to find an actual lame security guard who's not very good at his job <laughs> recorded a BTL. <laughs> so you have your contact, right? The I BTL do. dealer. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gidget. Gidget. All right. Can you, do you think you could hack into the hotel records and add um, personnel? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. So yeah. Can you so, add her at work? Yes, I will. All right. And I, I, will, I will. Let me see if I can do that. Yes. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes. theoretically, she could do that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I would love to do that for you. Do you want to this before you roll? Uh, nope. Okay. Living on the edge. Not really. Uh, three. <laughs> all right. So I got I got two successes. I'm rolling for shit too. All right. Woo-hoo. Hooray. Look at all those ones and twos. My all right. Goodness. So we've we've been added into the system. Yeah. So Yay. added your name. I would like to be named Helga. Yes. Helga. All right. Yes. The security here. orc. Yes. <laughs> Helga the security orc. That's the name. <laughs> that's on your yeah. tag. Yes. Helga the security orc. Yeah. Like Opal's all literal about it. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. All right. I've added you as Helga the security orc. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> What's the security orc, comma, Helga. <laughs> What's the talk she's giving? Uh, she is the media... Re- uh, let me get her exact title here. Uh, she is the yeah. media operations yeah. liaison. So it's it's just... Uh, it's like... Um, let's see here. Let me, let me do the... Yeah. So the new quarter is coming up. Mm-hmm. So it's just a, um, it's like a branding and positioning, um, I mean, she's basically the propaganda officer yeah. okay. for Mitsuhama. So she's just, it's just like, you know, look at what Mitsuhama's got planned for you in quarter four of right. 2075, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I see. So it's not necessarily like a, here's how to do some of this for your own company. No, kinda, no, she doesn't give out any useful information. But I'm going to go. <laughs> Her whole life is puppet shows and shadow plays. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go as an audience member. 
Who's representing a business? Because we have our donut business. Right. And be like, mm. it's, it's of interest to me what Mitsuhama's doing this Abs- next absolutely quarter. Absolutely it is. Of course it is. So I'm going to go as that person. Because mm. I think we're better at like one security guy, an audience guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Then yeah. we're everywhere. We're strategically mm-hmm. placed around the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness. Edie, you want to be in the crowd? What happened? You can be my companion. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cat has a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Cat has a dog. <laughs> Right. Do people have pets in this world, or are all pets dead? <laughs> pets. Yeah, I mean... Like, are there cats and dogs sheep. anymore? Sure, yeah. sure. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, let's see, I mean... What? Let's see, Mitsuhama, their computer technology, robotics, mm-hmm. um, also do multimedia and thaumaturgy. Oh. Well, another thing... Just so, obviously, hers is more on the multimedia end. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, in terms of me, my quote-unquote disguise, I mean, I there's tons of me mm. in there. So, mm-hmm. we're looking mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. With the same skin and the same yeah. and No one looking at you body. knows which one you are, no. so... Right, okay. right. Yeah. You can hold the elevator for us. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And I can get a uniform? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Super. Yeah. What are you going to go as, David? Uh, I'm Ken. going to go as, uh, let's see, hmm, Cole Ellaby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What does Cole do? Security guard? He's a guy? security guard. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. You found a lame one? Are you lame security or cool security? What? Are you a cool security guy or a lame security guy? Oh, you mean BTL wise? Yeah. I haven't done that yet. Oh, okay. I, I just Googled 100 random names. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going as. Uh, so you're not going as a security guy? You're going no, as I, as I am, but the, ah. the ID that I'm going as is it's Cole Ellaby. Yeah. All right, gotcha. All right. Do you want to get in touch with Gidget and get a BTL from her? I do. Okay. So you can, yes. you can just have that right there. Thank nice. you. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, she can do that for you. Um, just curious. Mm. She asks. Any reason for this? You, mm-hmm. branch, you branching out from Lane? Ooh. It's for a, uh, it's for a fancy dress party. Oh. Nice. Okay. Right. Uh, say no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All mm-hmm. right. Okay, good. Good you to guys go. are set then. Mm-hmm. So we've got two security. Opal's just going in as herself, mm-hmm. uh, and then Cat is going to keep it. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna be hiding in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Okay. Keeping it stealthy. I'm gonna keeping keep it stealthy. stealthy. That's All a, right. That's so a, you said there's a, a there's a point. plus. A Q. What? That's oh, a there's a Q. Oh, well, take a plot point then. <laughs> <laughs> So you said your negative quality gives a plus two when people are looking for you. Is that, is that how it's uh, It So distinctive style is plus two die per, to perception uh-huh. for whomever to recognize cat if they see me. If they, right. So right. not that they're, so they have to, right. they have to notice me and their chances of recognizing who I am. Right. <clears throat> they okay. get two dice That's too. what I was wondering is whether it's passive or active. But I also get extra dice to stealth, which is why I'm not that worried about it. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and I have my invisible clothing shit okay okay so um so let's see yeah the talk was in two days that's mm-hmm. right so it's on the fifth yep right yeah. good to see you to, uh, you know collect what we need right yeah so it definitely gives you plenty of time mm-hmm. get your uniforms uh your btls your can i figure out the whole suits the power suits and like infiltrating that Oh, right. Okay. That was the other thing. Is there a max how many plot points you can have? Oh, is it five? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will save my let's keep it stealthy then because I already have five. Ah, I, I see. can say that anytime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was something you wanted to figure out how to disable her, her power suits. Mm-hmm. Or try and close down the laundromat, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Either or. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so to disable the nanobots would basically require hitting the suit with like an EMP or other kind of disabling uh, wave. Oh, interesting. Or blast. Maybe you know. I could do that while we're in the building. If I get close to her, I could tap I could tap her on the shoulder. Okay. And it would, like, would, would I be able to do that? Would that affect you? Yeah, would that? I don't know. How localized can you, because some of us also have EMP, like your eyeballs, oh, okay. right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, if we were to go up to her and touch her, it might whoo, like deactivate her suit somehow. So like Would a, feel uh, that? a touch sensitive pinch or something? Yeah. Mm. Is it is it okay for it like will it work to be that localized so that it doesn't affect any of the rest of us? I mean, you would want it to be that localized for sure. So you're so you're saying that you would try and like release a, a shock into mm-hmm. the fabric yeah. essentially. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't yeah. necessarily be an electric shock; would be more of a pulse, really. Yeah. yeah. I'd say if you if you added a glitch die to your roll and then you rolled an exploit on that. Okay. You could do that. All right. But what happens if it fucks up? Will we all get zapped? Yes. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. If I you, am bad. He'll be blind. If you Some glitch of my it, shit won't work. Yep. Let's see here. <laughs> well, I'm living dangerously, which I'm adding a glitch die. Right. And I am. What am I doing here? Surprise threat. Maybe we should test the uh, the pinch first. Oh, the, the test goes off fine. The test oh, is fine. It <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. It's not going to happen until the day of. Right, of course. So we won't know. We won't know. Until I can approach her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shit. It's going to be tough. Yeah, this could go real bad. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Should we blow up the laundromat instead? <laughs> Just no, wait for she, her to go there. Be so like mean, Carrie Fisher you know, and you don't brothers with your rocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to put her on any jagger. That's true. No. Yeah, she might think something's up. But if I can at least maybe like mi- they can misplace her order or the ticket that she has isn't matching the ticket that they, ha- you know. Okay. Just, so really? you, also, you also want to try and shut that down? I do. Okay, so let's If I do could that. hack into yeah. the system and, and, you know, mess up the tickets. Yeah. If you can hack her clothing, couldn't you just hack it to stop functioning? No. You can't hack clothing. No, you oh, can't right. hack clothing. Okay. Yeah. okay. And you'll be able to tell us exactly Ooh. where the drones no, no. are if you... Just roll rolling right. twos and threes here. Well, you get three successes. I got one success. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. they've actually got a pretty good firewall. Well, I think that, that laundromats are cleaning nano suits. What yeah. Yeah, it's but powerful. Oh, um, she'll have her drones there too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can figure mm-hmm. out how those are. Where they are. Yeah, and where they are and like how mm-hmm. to. You might be able to hack them. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess the plus side is if the EMP blast fucks up, it will likely take them out as well. Yeah, that's true. So you'll be <laughs> blind, but they'll be down. True. Oh, I've still got my grenade. Yep. Oh, Jesus. I'm blind now. I'm just going to throw a grenade. <laughs> no, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, no. Hold on to that grenade. I'm not getting taken alive. No. <laughs> and your last would be like, an apple a day as you pull them. It's in my... Uh, oh, oh, you got it. Oh. Uh, you have a grenade in your face? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Ken really hates himself, so... Yeah. It's more reliable than... Oh, man. Switch, it's just know? like in Aliens. Yeah. 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 The pilot? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's kind of cool. Oh man. <laughs> I admire that. I admire yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ready for anything. All right. All right, we're doing this. Oh, and what are we doing? Yeah. What else? Yeah. All right. So it's. Uh, yeah, it's wait, wait, what's Sotar doing? I, I want to picture what Sotar is getting up to. I think he's going on some kind of vision quest. Vision mm-hmm. quest to yeah. commune with the bear and so the owl. He, right. So he's disappeared. Yeah. You know, he's probably without comment. As yeah. He's want to do. As he is uh-huh. to do. He took a box of donuts, though, man. Croinuts. He took some croinuts on his vision quest. Hell yeah. So, anyways. Yes. So off we go. Okay. So it's. It's uh, Thursday night, or thir- well, let's see, it's a talk for the public, so let's say it's uh, Thursday afternoon at like 4.30, right? Yeah, sounds good. That's good. And, uh, but of course, you know, the skies are overcast and, and dim, so it's that kind of half light of a, of a really rainy day. Mm. Uh, the rain's really pouring down. Oh, and, okay. um, well, I don't, yeah, there's Mitsuhama Tower right. downtown. Great. You know, we're all, uh, we've got our IDs on us. We're in the system, or at least. Yeah. Set, yeah. You know, said that I do. I will go yeah. through security where one of you is working. So Beautiful. That I can right. Shit mm-hmm. in with me. Oh, yeah. So, are the security, did you guys clock in this morning? Have you been working there that's all day? That's what I'm, yeah. I, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Are, yeah. You, are you moling your way in? Yeah. Um, I'm probably like on the afternoon, sh- the mid shift. Uh huh. Right. Right. So, I clocked in like around, you know, like one. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I could have. 
Been there all day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really get a lay of the land. Yeah. This is, and it's really fun to walk around as yeah. a huge security orc and yeah. see the scared looks that people give you. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Right. So you're so you're both in the system as new hires. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like said that you got the tour. Yeah. You know, from the from the uh, head security troll. Yeah. You know, he like he showed you around. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Is he uh, flirting with her a little bit? I don't know. How flirty is Sedna? Oh, have you seen her picture? Yes. <laughs> Come on. She's like... All right. Firma. All right. Yeah. Firme. All right. So, yeah. So, he's... Yeah, he, he's impressed. He's duly impressed. Ooh. You know? Yeah. So, um, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to um, see if I could um, convince him to show me any secret exits. That or don't show up on the public. Um, yeah, uh, spend a plot point. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Excellent. All right. Yeah. No. He he takes you all all through the like your your ba- your beat is basically like the two basements basement levels lobby level and like the first five floors. Oh great. So you okay. get you know up to the monorail stage uh, platform. Yeah. So okay. you you get access codes you get you know uh the the fire doors and the fire exits That's and great and you're yeah. wired into whatever uh-huh. like you can hear everything i'm mm-hmm. hearing in. okay is there an express elevator to the monorail is that what you said yes mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. yeah because nice. it'll just go straight from whatever floor directly to the monorail mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. super mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. so you'll uh, pass that information on to I everybody will. yes yeah. mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. The your supervisor's name, by the way, is um, where'd that go? Pedro Nixon. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Excellent name. <laughs> yeah, the troll. I love it. I love it. Yeah, the troll. Yeah. He's got the classic like big ram's horns Ooh. curling around. Oh, yeah. okay. Is he handsome for a troll? For a troll, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Can orcs and trolls? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. Eggplant. I think so. <laughs> I think yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not an orc, so I can't speak to that. We're about yeah. to find out. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? What? Don't. Uh, An eggplant in your. Car. Don't hit images, David. No, I won't. No. No. Oh my God! <laughs> what? What? Uh, All right. I'm pretty sure you just asked something that could be very bad if you Google images. Yeah, no, do not. If you Google can orcs and trolls eggplant, I'm pretty sure Google would be like, what the fuck gobbledygook did you just put in there? I'm pretty sure he didn't say eggplant. (laughs) (laughs) No, I said butternut squash. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Can orcs and trolls butternut squash? (laughs) All right. So, Mm -hmm. So I'm in the building. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm going to just peruse the floor, just cruise around and see what's going on. Okay. And so the stage is set, right? Mm-hmm. And there are other me's, like other... Dr- what are you looking what? at? No, right sorry. Now? I'm sorry. Just go on. Go on. So there's what? other you's. <laughs> what are you looking so at? Work porn? <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> this is under the joy of awakened sex. What? Naturally, <laughs> some, naturally some tacky questions will come up, such as the possibility of trolls being sexually compatible or not with other metatypes, and what happens when two different metatypes tacky have children. Questions. The alt.sex FAQ suggests that the average size is 15 centimeters and... No! No. <laughs> And 90% fall into the range of 13 centimeters to 18 centimeters. What? Assuming linear scaling, the average troll will clock in a little under 25 centimeters. You know, 10 inches, fuck, you know what? Which is within the realm of human variation. It should make sex between a male troll and any female metatype. How do we always get on these conversations? Stop. Larger than a dwarf, more practical than the current day human practice of fisting. That's where I made the ah, face. Stop. So, How does this bother you stop. more than the butternut squash? Because, <laughs> because, so, because that was us just riffing and, and making fun of it. This is like actually someone writing this down in a serious academic way, and that makes me mad. That, that bothers me. Somebody wants to know. Nobody wants to know. I wanted to know. <laughs> what you do in your spare time is up to you. But this, that kind of shit, like a bit borderline academic, oh. like writing about something that's so obnoxious, I find insulting. Now what are you looking at? The rule would be better just be like, short answer, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it says the rules about different metatypes procreating are given at the beginning of the section describing the metatypes in Shadowrun 2nd Edition, which is when about when this was posted, probably. Because so, this is an old school website. Oh, of All course. Right. So then the pertinent ah. question then what? is, 
Who, who's who's coming up with like Soder slash Sedna? No, no one. I'll just say no one for the record. Soder slash Sedna. How about, about when no? we get to winter phase? So anyway, I'm looking around yes. the hall. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to see. There's other droids that are similar model as me. <sighs> dressed yes. similarly, right? Yes. I mean, right. are oh, we yes. all dressed differently Absolutely. or are we dressed the same? Um, well, it depends on how you want to be dressed. I, I think I mean, you would have had you would have had the. Do you wear clothes, or is that part of your your holographic projection? The clothes are part of the hologram. Okay, so of course you have your your default skin. Yeah, uh, but I'm. Skin. But I wonder if it's not as updated as the other ones. Ooh. Maybe, oh. there's, maybe there's like a corp uniform that you could have downloaded when you were in yeah. the uh, in the in the system itself uh-huh. for um, yeah. you know. Or if you want yeah. to gain a plot point by introducing complication, gain a plot point, um, then. You could say that, yeah, your your uniform is, is Yeah, I don't think I've been updated. Date. I don't think okay. I've been updated. But once I see this, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Can't you just project whatever you want with your holographic? I can, but then there's a probably only very specific updates that the corp has that I don't so have access to anymore. Right. Right. Like, my it realignment. makes you stand out. Yeah, yeah, my realignment is only, like, kind of my own kind of... Like, you didn't, you, didn't download the, you didn't download the Pets expansion pack, which comes with some new clothing options, too. Yeah. And so... <laughs> Thank you for breaking it down to sim language for me to understand. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's good. Anyway, here's a plot point. For the record. Um, So, yes. You want a plot point for that? Yeah, sure. Okay. But then then, then I need to find a place where I can log in so Mm -hmm. I can... Can I hack into their main corporate system to update my my? I mean, you can log once you're once you're inside the building. You can get on there. I want to on their node, so to speak. So I'm in there. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm in. Okay, so we've got the two of yous. Work in security. Yep. Yeah. Um, I want to find out where the drones are, by the way, but that's for later. Yeah. Okay, so, sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. Where they where they're kept, where they're charged, right, right, where they're right. maintained. Okay, mm-hmm. we've got Opal walking into the lobby. Mm-hmm. Cat with Opal. Uh. Mm-hmm. We could walk in together. We could walk in together. I was gonna say I could scope the building outside okay. if you're gonna if you're gonna walk in ahead of time anyway, because I'm gonna go through security where one of these two is anyway, so it's mm-hmm. not like it's an issue. No, no. So I feel like Cat would scope the building just to see if anything seems like like is there extra security outside? Does it seem like normal amount of stuff for this kind of event? Okay. Does anything seem off? Sure. Basically. Okay. So let's. Uh, you want to hack this in? Too easy. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is not easy. Then no. there's that Larkin's grin, which makes me think it. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, okay, I'm using an edge. I'm <laughs> using an edge on this. Alright, well, this is Mitsuhama after all. Yeah. No, I'm using an edge. Okay. So that means I get three extra dice, right? One extra die. One extra but then you succeed on four, fives, and sixes. That's right. Thank you. Okay, you're going to have to hit six successes. <clears throat> Six. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh uh, nice. Woo. Oh, All good right. One. So, yeah. So you're so you're walking in. You you look around. You see some other opals in there, oh, and you realize, whoops. <laughs> you know, they're slightly different. Mm-hmm. So you very quickly uh, pop up into the matrix. You can see the Mitsuhama. Um, uh, they don't call it a node. What do they call it? Uh, Nexus. Nexus. Thank you. Mm. Uh, that looks like a, a giant, like Japanese castle. Mm. You know, kind of mm-hmm. floating above you. Mm-hmm. So you go Ooh, up there, and you just very quickly like pull up the latest mm-hmm. skin. Okay. Yeah. Download it. So like as you're walking across the lobby, there's just this little like lane that goes down, and like oh, cool. You know, mm. You. And it's so it's a very subtle shift, mm-hmm. so it's not enough to Too draw obvious. attention. But the others, nice. would, yeah. the other droids would notice. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. Yeah. Well, indeed. Anyone notices? Well, you didn't add a, a glitch die, so you're good. Mm, yeah. You're good. Okay. All right, cat, uh, you're outside, so you're you're casing the joint. Yeah, I'm um, let's uh, let's get a roll, a perception roll for that. You got it. Except I don't know what that is. What's Logic and willpower. You got Logic it. And willpower. I have two successes. Okay. Uh, I've got three. Would you like to spend any edge to re-roll your failures? Nah. 
Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's your typical sort of faceless glass skyscraper, so there's very little to be gleaned from looking at it. Okay, I will walk inside. Who is working the door? Are both of you working the door? I think you probably, probably can. can. Yeah. You walk up and be like, "Hello, sir. <laughs> I am here for the event." What are you wearing? Are yeah, you like? Are yeah, you, I want to be someone. Are you in your like cat. your your typical yes. like fucking leathers? Yeah. And, you know. Of you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of she is. <laughs> I have distinctive style. That's yeah, the it whole is her thing. negative quality. Like, so. So I'm wearing all that. My hair is like slicked, like backing up with like uh, half of it over my eyes. It's okay. pretty usual. Yeah. yeah. I look like cat. Mm-hmm. No attempt at subtlety. No. All right. She's stealthy in her movements, not in her dress style. Of course. <laughs> Plus, it turns. I can change into its electromagnetic cl uh, chromic clothing, so it'll change into whatever, whenever I want it to. Very true. Just flash a banner that says, I'm here for the event. <laughs> Your t-shirt says. <laughs> ask, right. ask me about my attendance. All right. Do you need to pat me down? Please empty your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I pantomime emptying my pockets since I'm obviously not going to. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, you know, pat her down. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Let's. Uh, I think, I think uh, there's there's uh, gotta be like some kind of wand here, right? Or yeah, something a little yeah. bit more. But maybe you just yeah. turn it off. You turn so it off. Yeah. 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 Nice. All right. Yeah. Looks so like you've been wanded. Yeah. <laughs> you've, been, you've been wanded. All right. I'm just gonna spend a plot point to say that your your uh, entrance and appearance has been noted. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there are some cameras on you. And Can I some flip them off? <laughs> Okay, if you want to get ushered out, then... Well, now they're definitely going to follow Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I have to go and erase the freaking security footage somehow. It's not my fault I'm on camera. Oh, dear. <laughs> what? All right. So uh, so where, where is Sedna? Is this so uh, she was maybe flirting with the troll to get him to tell her where the, the um, droids... Not the droids, the... Uh, drones. Drones. Yes. Yeah. 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 The buzzy things. The, the biz biz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they might be housed when they're not in use. Mm, I mean, right. She won't use them all the time, right? Like in her office or. Well, um, she she, she uh, uses them whenever she's at work, and then uh, there is a secure uh, sort of drone server room, if you will. Okay. With a bunch of charging bays. Yeah. You know. And so when she leaves for the day, they all go park themselves there. Exactly. Oh, Although yeah. I imagine she has some. And then she has some that her. go with her. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's some that are charging while she's at work, and then those go with, and then those pop out and go with her. Yeah. And then the, her work drones stay and charge overnight. I just keep seeing like, did you guys ever see the second Kingsman movie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The, she has these like robo dogs that that, that she's made the bad guy and, mm. and like you were Whoa. saying she has no friends because she's so like untrustworthy all her friends are these robot things she's made <laughs> and she has these robo dogs called Benny and Jet mm -hmm. and she yeah, likes yeah. that old timey music yeah, yeah. so they sleep in these dog houses that are their charging stations and it shows on the side of the dog house like how charged <laughs> they are Aww. and she whistles and they get up and they're like mm. they're really creepy mm. So I'm picturing that, but like floating ones. It's smaller, mm. probably. Mm. Yeah. What would the drones so, look like? Uh, they're just little. They're they're just little propeller drones, mm -hmm. right? They're, you know, the size of a saucer or something. They have like a cloaking element to them, so mm -hmm. you can't really see them. They're not very visible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Pedro, <laughs> what sort of firepower do these drones carry? Oh well, uh, there's uh, <laughs> six of them. Uh, three have your standard uh, tranquilizer dart setup. Oh. Uh, but uh, Miss Rashid was uh, very particular that she wanted uh, the other three to have uh, machine pistols. Machine pistols. Yeah. Wow. So kind of like this. Yeah. They're cute. Oh, oh yeah. neat. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so there's six of them. Can they be named after like the rainbow colors? <laughs> Sure. So, how many rounds do no, they carry? They're named after the seven dwarves, but she's actually grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's Doc. <laughs> Fair. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how many rounds do they carry? Oh, nice. you know, just your standard clip. Oh, okay. Standard magazine. Oh, know. and then they self-destruct after they run out? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, just <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so you getting mesmerized by her eyebrows? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like, are those purple? <laughs> purple ones. <laughs> purple ones. Yeah, it depends on my mood. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what mood is purple? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she wants it to be. Yeah. Right. All right. Aren't you cute? <laughs> Why? I don't know, let's let's get a, let's get a roll here. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what Pedro Nixon the troll thinks of you. Charisma plus. Uh, yeah. Charisma is it plus. Oh well, it's always opposed. Yeah. Um, charisma plus. Um, hmm. I don't know, willpower? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless you have a skill that you don't really. So, yeah, I think charisma plus willpower is fine. Plus it's intimidating. Right. I mean, maybe he's into that. Whoa, I see three sixes. Oh, mm. All right. Yeah. Any others? No. Okay. Any fives? No. Okay. I got three successes myself, so that's fine. That's good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's buying it. Yeah, he's buying it. Yeah. He's okay. Picking up what he's you're putting into down. It. He's all into right. It. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's charmed. He's yes. charmed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Yeah. A little feedback. The glasses gonna. No, that's no, that's, that's the uh, music from the. Yeah, but it's like, are they? Is the music simulating feedback? Mm. Mm. Anyway. Probably. Yeah, no, it's no, that no. weird anime, like something dramatic in a dream way is about to happen. <laughs> right. Like... All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. So, um, so you've got some information about the drones. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So everyone's in in one way or another. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's um, almost four thirty. <clears throat> Talks about the start. Cat, you're heading straight to the. Is there a to bar? the auditorium? Is there a bar? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, can... you wouldn't want to buy the stuff here. It's like, like marked up three hundred and fifty percent. It's like you know one karma for a shot. No, <laughs> can't be that. One karma for a glass of scotch. <laughs> Ten thousand new yen. For yes, there scotch. is a bar. How much is a drink? Um, it is marked up, but not. Not uh, exorbitantly so. Can I try to flirt myself a drink? Uh, sure, sure. That. Okay, go for it. Uh, let's see. Corporate bartender. I'm pretty used to people trying to. Mm -hmm. But I'm flirt cat. Maybe it's maybe it's not the bartender. Maybe it's someone else that's in the bar. Some oh, rando. getting a getting a rando to buy her a drink. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to spend a plot point for that? Sure. Okay, spend Do a I get to re-roll? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna roll fewer dice. I only got one success. I also got one success. All right, so is that a yes then? That's a yes. Let me let me find out who what is it? Who is there? Some poor chump. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Oh my goodness, no. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Because I'll seem less suspicious if I'm having a drink, like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a reason for it. Just don't start licking yourself. I'm going to really try hard not to. All right, so so you, you have caught the eye of a short, bald, rather gruff-looking uh, fellow. Uh, Hello, sir. Yes, who, who is, of course, intrigued by your by your appearance. You know. Meow, baby, meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is a what is a young, strange-looking thing like you doing in a bar like this? <laughs> you say strange-looking thing? Yes. Oh no, what is a strange-looking thing like you doing in a bar like this? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like a fiery woman. Let us get a fiery whiskey for the both of us. If you like fiery? You're gonna love me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Get mm -hmm. one too. I'll cheers you. <laughs> All right. So uh, so yeah, he uh, he buys you a, a drink and says, "Are you here for the uh, presentation?" I am. I'm a uh, I'm a business owner myself, so I'm intrigued to hear the talk. How about you? Of course. So he reaches in his coat pocket and withdraws a uh, business card, hands it to you. It reads, "Arkady Komarov." Mm. So you have the word cat in your name. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and uh, he's, uh, the, uh, the byline underneath there, the little slogan or whatever, uh, uh, says, um, um, <clears throat> for the dearly departed Ooh. that you wish to see again. Uh, oh. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> oh well, I, I, uh, 
I build uh, uh, androids. Mm. And my specialty is uh, for the loved ones who have left us too soon. Oh, I see. Do you build like a like a memory build off of their... If I can uh, get the data, yes. Wow. How realistic are your models? Very realistic. That sounds intriguing and disturbing. <laughs> Whoa! I hope it doesn't scare you too much. No, I find it. Uh, I find it quite interesting. I'd like to talk to you more about this. Of course, in your name. Do you have a card? I. Uh... She has a coin out in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Coin, coin out crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't carry calling cards because I'd rather just call on you if you decide you need my business. But of course. Well, what may I call you as we toast? Cat. You may call me cat. Two cats. <laughs> And to you, whose name I've forgotten already. <laughs> Mr. Komarov. <laughs> Mr. Komarov. Comrade Komarov. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So you uh, you knock it back. Can he come listen to the lecture with me? Of course. Fantastic. Yes. So he, he escorts you to the uh, to the lecture hall. Is he shorter than me? Oh yes, he is. Mm-hmm. Can I can I like put my hand on his shoulder as we walk? Yes, so you can. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Opal? Oh, um, well, how many more minutes until the presentation? Um, there's like five. Five, okay. So I'm just sort of scoping out the crowd. I'm seeing who's in the crowd. Uh Um, I'm also standing near the stage. Uh Uh-huh. Um, in that kind of general area so that I can just see the stage and the the people who are in the audience Mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're you're kind of positioned yourself, um, not quite. You know, like you're not sitting. No, I'm standing. Like you're like you're there officially. Yes. Okay. And um, so does anyone come up to me, maybe asking me questions of like? Oh yeah. Like I'd, like, I'd say so. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, is this the um, is this the Rashid uh, presentation? Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. How can I help you? Yeah, that kind <laughs> yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So um, so I get a plot point for how can I help you? Oh yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, and then, uh, can I sense Oops. where, um, <laughs> where she is, where Fatima is? Thanks. Can you sense where she is? Yeah, like, in terms of, like, detect, like, is she nearby? Like, the drones, am I, am I sensing the drones? And I want to see if I can hack into the drones. All right, well, that would, that would definitely be a logic plus hacking. Okay. Cool. She wears power armor, you could sense her, right? Because you pick up on the... Yeah, I don't know. That's why. That's, well, that's, that's a good question. The power armor is pretty subtle. It would be the drones would give off more of a yeah. yeah. More of a signature. All right, so I'm gonna add. Jesus. Um, oh gee. Jesus. Code slinger. Ah oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. You should have been. Two to hacking test. You should be adding code slinger whatever you hack. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I didn't the other time. I just remembered. Mm. Um, and then I'm gonna exploit this too. Um, oh okay. Reroll two dice on no cyber combat. So this isn't cyber combat. Wait, what is it then? Exploit, reroll two dice. Oh, so that's if you add a glitch die and roll an exploit, you're gonna get that. I'm not going to right now. Okay. All right, do you want to spend an edge? No, not not for this, not for what I got planned. You need seven successes. How many? Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven. Yeah. I have four. Okay. So you can determine where she is based off of seeing the, the drones that are around her. I can see them. Yeah. They're not visible, though. To the... well, you can see them on the Matrix. Okay. Right. right. So you, you go up you into the Matrix. See mm-hmm. You see them zipping around. They're on an elevator coming down to the auditorium. Okay. Um, They're so cute. <laughs> but yeah, they are, they, are, they are hardened. They have major uh, you know, counter-intrusion measures on right. them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> For obvious reasons. Right. If someone, <laughs> if someone could hack them, she'd be too. Yeah, just like. like <laughs> no! Who could have foreseen this? Let's go. <laughs> Fatima gunned down by her own drones. No yes. one mourns. All right. I'm just trying to. Drones just thinking. Just mm-hmm. thinking. Of course. Thinking, thinking. Okay. I got some ideas. Okie dokie. Um. So Ken, you're still at the front uh, front desk, or do you um, want to start making your way back? Uh, it's probably like I think about like maybe 20 minutes before the uh, before the okay. talk is set to start. I mm-hmm. make my way towards the uh, or I make my way into the, the evacuation stairwell. Okay, sure, oh, sure. So like while I was in the bar, you were <laughs> going into the stairwell. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Sedna. So I think we're probably um, just walking around the room and the stage. 
um, Pedro and I. Uh huh. And okay. I'm gonna say, Pedro. So when the talk starts, could I stand behind you and just sort of see how, you know, how you should stand and um, uh -huh. comport yourself to look most intimidating? <laughs> and then I'm gonna run my hands around his horns. Oh my god! Oh! How tall is he? Well, I'm well tall. she's pretty tall she's too. Yeah. I think he's leaning down a little bit. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> nice. So can we get that? Actually, um, that might be important later. Okay. So, um, am I taller than he is? No, no, he's a troll. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good. He's a good ten feet tall. But I'm big. Okay. Yeah, so you're, you're ten feet tall. Yeah. Okay, and, and I'm a... Jesus. And Sam is, Sam is about six feet. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, six, seven? Six, seven. Uh, orcs are usually, like, you know, at least a good foot taller than yeah. humans. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. So seven, then? So yeah. I'm about three feet shorter than he is? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. They're big. Yeah. <laughs> Taking up room. But I can see over his shoulder toward the uh, stage, right? If, if he were standing in front of me, I could... Mm -hmm. Just see it's under his shoulder. I like yeah. that we established troll penis size before we established <laughs> troll height. Yeah. Well, priorities. Yeah, priorities. one of them is obviously much more important priorities. to whether they're going to flirt and get it on later. This is true. <laughs> height less important when horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, great. So, Sedna's on the stage with Pedro. Opal's in front of the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ken is in the How emergency. How high is the stage from the ground floor? Oh, I'd say about four feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask. Um, yes. Senna probably can't have pebbles with her, right? Right. So she'll have the usual um, uh, whatever right. arms that the security guards would have. Actually, Aries Pepper, probably. Maybe at most. Uh, let's see here. Security. And yeah, not a security spider. There you are. Security spider? Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, you've got a stun baton, actually. That's it? That's it. Unless you want to do a flashback and spend a plot point to say that you secreted a weapon somewhere. All right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you've been here all day, so you've, yeah. had, you've had time. She could have put it in a locker or... Well, or Or, or on somewhere. the stage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the podium, for example. you right. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, miss. I just have to get this. Yeah, get <laughs> you, you act like I. Oh, I can make a distraction, and you act like you're saving her. Like you push her down by the podium, mm. and then you just pull the weapon out. Like, no. like oh yeah. Like you could blame it on the gunman from the crowd. Oh, which would be you. Blame which it on the rain. Oh yeah. Blame it on the rain. No. Cat. Well, like, well, cat. like, are there curtains? There aren't curtains, right? Or um, not really. No. So. It's probably like a big screen. Yeah. yeah. It's TED Talk style. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Yeah. But there'd be um an entrance to come in from yes. backstage, right? Yes. Uh, no, there's actually oh. no backstage. She just. Oh well, then. There's then... there's two little stairs going up onto the stage. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was just about to say that before we got. Okay. You know, All right. Got it. Distracted by talk of where weapons may be. Mm. Okay. So and you don't have to specify right now. You spent the plot point. Yeah. So when when it comes time, you can say flashback and then you know. Oh really? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. If, so if we needed to at that point, could I also spend a plot point to make it like Absolutely. a? We both set something yes. up here. That, okay. Absolutely. Okay. We don't have to do it right now. Okay, but I do want to point out that in TED Talks they have those tables with the black tablecloth. Mm -hmm. Sure. Near the sure. front and yeah. maybe a uh -huh. second one with some some bottled water. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When they keep the bottled water, so uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Pedro and I are standing like next way to... more bottled water than the speaker would ever need. Yeah, <laughs> like we want to be uh, prepared. Poisoned right, bottled water. Maybe we poisoned the water. Just as a thought. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot I don't of things going anywhere. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just throwing out there as a possibility. <laughs> so I haven't decided yet, but Pebbles may or may not be waiting underneath the table near us that has the nice, uh, convenient mm -hmm. tablecloth mm -hmm. that's okay. black. Yeah. So there's sure. so there's three right. there's three entrances into the auditorium, uh, all double doors. And uh, and there's there's two stairs on each far side of the stage that go up to the stage. So to answer your question. And tables. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 4:30 rolls around. Uh, Fatima comes in with um, and, and you could just 
barely hear this little like <laughs> sound, you know, yeah. like accompanying her. So really quickly. Yes. I can attack these drones on the matrix, right? You can try. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> so, and I can control them from the matrix if I hack into If them. you can hack them, yeah. Can I see if I can do that? Right now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, deep breath. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so we're looking at, I'm using a lot of stuff here. Mm. Now, would electronics count for this since they are technically, or I'm just attacking them on the matrix, so mm -hmm. it's only yes, the matrix attacking. moves. Yeah. So it's only the technomancer. Um, okay, yeah. I got plenty there. So, oh, great, here we go. Um, so I'm doing uh, Cyberdeck 3, which mm -hmm. is four dice. Mm -hmm. I have biofeedback, which is dealing cyber combat damage to my opponent's physical or matrix condition monitors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a hammer, which is a plus two damage to cyber combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, can I use tracking on this? No. To track them? No, you don't need to. Why not? Uh, because that's because they're moving. They're trying, constantly moving. Right, but if you're trying to find, it's just if you're trying to find, find something. something. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I have my code slinger advantage as well. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, so I want to try to, and I'm going to use a glitch dice mm -hmm. to exploit to re-roll. Oh no, on side. No, no side combat. Never mind. Okay, so now you have to specify which drone you're targeting. You can't just target all six drones at once. Okay, so I want to do the ones closest to me. So mm -hmm. how are they configured around her head? Well, they're just kind of in a, in a little rotating swarm. Okay, so how? So the ones that are closest to me. So would there be like three closest to me or two closest to me at any given time? Yeah, well, there's there's only three at a time, right? I thought there were six or seven. There's six. Oh, so there's rotating every time? No, so there's, no, there's there's actually 12 total? No, no, no. no, no. There's six, six total. total. Well, you three, did, three have tranquilizers and three have machine pistols. Didn't we also establish that three would be charging while she's here and follow her home? No, no. She has 12. Well, she has 12 total. Then. Okay. Yeah, she okay. has six for home and six for work. But the yeah. home ones aren't going to show up. Right. They're elsewhere. Right. Yeah. Right. Can you tell, can Opal tell which ones are the Trank ones and which ones are the machine gun ones? I should be able to. Yeah. Because maybe so. if you hack a machine gun one, so the machine gun ones? ones. Mm -hmm. okay. you, want, you want to go after a machine gun one? A, I guess, a one? One, yes. Mm -hmm. You can't Trank Since a there's robot, six. Right? No. Okay. Do you want to spend an edge? Not right now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, no. She's got plans. Too. Conservative with her. She's got plans. Okay. Oh, good. And then, um, <laughs> woo. Okay, yeah, I didn't do, use exploit because we're not we're in combat. All right, so I rolled six. You got six successes? Yes. Jeez. All right, I got three. Ha ha! Okay. So you're using your hammer program, correct? I am doing, well, okay, so the hammer, yeah, plus two damage in cyber combat, but could damage be me controlling it? Uh, let me see. To hack into it, mm -hmm. like it's damaging its its mission, which is to shoot the machine gun. But I'm you, damaging it to do something else. Or is she's damaging his firewall so that yeah. she mm -hmm. infiltrated easier? Right, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you could get it to shoot the other ones, right? Possibly, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we're going to go off the damage track here. User is kicked out of the matrix. Blah blah blah. Da da da. Okay, so I'm gonna say that like once you've depleted its condition monitor, then you have basically taken it over. Okay. Okay. Ooh, cool. So I got three, you got six. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a net of three, and then you get plus two damage. Mm -hmm. So that's five damage. Mm -hmm. Its condition monitor is, is six. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has one one dot left essentially, okay. or one one yeah one dot. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so you can you can now try again as uh, uh, Fatima gets up on the stage. What do you mean try again? Well, you could just keep attacking it. Oh, you yeah. Need, you need to deplete it all the way to zero. Can I, to control it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay, sorry. So, four plus two plus three. All right. Okay. Two. 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 Two.
too. Oh, I didn't add my. Oh, I didn't add a lot of things. Um, oops. Um, what else you got? I have. I mean, I would be using hacking on this too. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't use my. I didn't use my serious? skills. I just was Jeez. rolling for my shadow amps and my. Holy qualities. shit! All right. Oh so God. so we're gonna back it up. Just I'm go sorry. ahead and roll right, so whatever dice it. you didn't roll last time. Plus hacking. Yes. Yeah. Shadow amps. Mm, yeah. I don't have enough. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> mine. No, no, you don't need to re-roll. Just roll the dice that you didn't roll last. Time. Right. No, that's what I'm trying to do. But I'm. So just you didn't roll hacking. Yeah, I didn't roll hacking plus my logic. Okay. So seven dice. Wait, what? You didn't roll logic either? No, that's my logic. <laughs> my, that's what I have to do. How did you? How many? How many? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it would have been like twenty dice. All right, and of course I only have two. That's all you so need. You, you needed I one. Okay. You needed one. So. Okay. All right, so you actually hack the thing on the first on the okay. first attempt. All right, Yay. thank you. Sorry, I will keep better count next time. This is what I've been trying to do in my notes while everyone's talking. I'm not really paying attention to the narrative. I'm just like trying. To, this is why I don't like it because it takes me out of the game. You're right, like, right. I'm trying you don't, to, like, you don't like building up, these pools. No, I'm having to add up these pools to like, yeah, yeah. and I'm missing out on like actually interacting and having fun. So. <laughs> I've controlled this. I'm controlling this droid. You are. You have taken over the drone. I ask it to shoot into the crowd. Oh! Whoa! Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, really? Oh! But what if it hits an innocent person? Uh, she doesn't have that morality. I'm reprogramming her when we get back. Good luck with oh, that. Oh, cool. Do you have to do? All right, so Fatima's getting up on the stage. You know, she's activating oh, her little earpiece microphone. Oh wait, can I spend microphone. a plot point to do two movements? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Wait, but is she gonna just run away once her droid does this? Like, how are we gonna get her? Uh, she's gonna evacuate through the established evacuation oh, yeah, route, right. where I'm standing by with a high-powered rifle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so what did you want to do? You spent a plot point to get to two, do movements. two movements. This is my first move. Oh, okay. I have a second move. Okay, so uh, so she's getting up on the stage. She's activating her microphone. The the slide projector is coming up on the back. Slide. Do you projector. tell us that you're doing this? Okay. Hell no. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, you know, she's starting to she's starting her spiel. You know, like welcome everyone. You know, and, and just then, so Sen has been waiting for an opportunity. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, think, I don't think I have to flashback for that, right? Like she's just mm -hmm. not yet. Yeah. Waiting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then all of a sudden, you know, the thing just opens up. <laughs> and, uh, I grab what's his face and get down on the ground. Okay. Our caddy or whatever. It is. Yeah, uh huh. All right, so. How many sixes is that? Wow. Yeah, it did pretty well. All right, so five successes. I'm going to give the crowd sort of a generic defense roll here. Since they're all just a bunch of corpses who weren't expecting trouble, I'll make it an easy roll. Yeah, only one success. So yeah, so the bullets, the bullets, uh, you know, start to fly. A couple people are hit. You know, you see blood, you know, exploding out of chests, and immediate screams and pandemonium. What the fuck? Uh, oh. pa Pedro starts to dive for uh, Fatima. Okay. But he does. You, but you, I'm also going for yes. Fatima. Ah, okay. Well, you spent a plot point, mm -hmm. so you get there first. I get to go up to this. Yep. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll say that your your you know bionic uh, speed, speed you know. and strength and agility. Yep. I have close combat. Oh. I would like to twist her neck. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Uh. Wow, you're making it easy. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so, a really big moment. So what happens if um? So no pinch. <laughs> No pinch? Oh yeah, didn't you want to do the, the little... You're, you're... I, Opal's decided she's sick of sitting in the back, apparently. She's gone off yeah. the grid. Like, Fuck it. She's I, gone off the grid. I have my orders. She, she's gone off script. <laughs> she's taking Roy off the grid. I, I, have, <laughs> I have my orders. I'll just put it that way. Before before we do a little... Because I'm going to use another plot point for a little um, oh, okay. flashback. Okay, too. okay, okay. Cool. Uh -oh. Nice. I love it. So what happens if um your body gets shot? You're fine, right? You just um, well, I do have I have some armor, so and I do have um 
Yeah, I have armor. But yeah. your to consciousness me. is safe somewhere. Yeah, right? I mean, so it's, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. Somewhere. It is. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So yeah. I'm gonna relay to to Ken what's happening as I'm as I'm holding Komarov <laughs> down. So Opal's lost her damn mind apparently, <laughs> and she's decided to ta- or not, but whatever. She's happy. But she's, <laughs> she's happy. She, but seems she, she, she seems fine. She's decided to take on it's Fatima uh, on her own right. and has made a drone shoot the crowds, <clears> and now she's running for her. As, as Opal's running for her. Okay, mm-hmm. so Fatima does not have a Just so you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll your uh, agility plus... Uh, I'm using combat. my edge. I'm using edge. Wow. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh, she was planning on saving it for this. Exactly. I'm using my edge. Horrible. Horrible. Dear so, GM, fuck Opal. you. <laughs> Uh, I have a plan. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna sub one of these for glitch dice. Uh huh. Yeah. Exploit. Oh no, you don't. You don't oh. sub. You just add the glitch dice in, oh. but okay. it doesn't count as a. Uh, it won't count as a success or a failure. Yeah. It'll just count as a glitch or not. Yeah. Or okay. an exploit. Well, and then that. Okay. Jeez. So then I can reroll two Ooh. dice. Go. 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 <laughs> if you exploit. Oh wait, are you gonna share yes. a quote right before you? I will. Slay her. So I'll say perhaps. <laughs> Well, we'll see if that happens, but what I do say is perhaps threats are threats because we are crazy. <laughs> oh, that's Perfect. the first one I've really liked, Opal. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh finally. The laws of no, but I used my edge, right? Not, yeah, so four, five, six, six. Fours, okay. Um, glitch is fine. Oh, so you got an exploit? Did you mm-hmm. did you roll a four, five, or six on the glitch? I did not. Okay. So did you roll a one on the glitch? No. Okay. All right. So, so I can re-roll two. Yeah. Yep. And I can re-roll my failures, too. Because uh, that would be a separate edge. But um, you can go ahead and re-roll your two first. No, no, no. If, if it specifies exploit re-roll, it means you can only re-roll when you exploit. And you didn't exploit because you didn't roll a four, five, or six on oh, the glitch die. Okay. Oh, I thought you did. Okay. But you have an effect that lets you re-roll two die. Yes. That's so you expo- can, but I didn't that's get only it. As you that's only if you exploit. But you can spend an edge to re-roll all failed dice. All failed dice. Which I added, I did have that edge. No, it's a separate edge. It's just edge spending an edge. Four, five, it's spending an edge. So what was the point of me rolling any of that? Because you, I you got edge. successes on a four, five, or six. Oh, okay. So yeah. four successes, everyone. Okay, and but, do you want to re-roll anything? Um, that's a separate edge spend. Or I don't have, I'm out of edge. You're edges. out of edge. I don't have two edges. Okay. How much edge did you spend? You spent one earlier? One earlier, yes. yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. So I had four. You got four successes? <laughs> Alright, well she only got one. Here so go. um dealing physical strength damage. Mm-hmm. That's strength divided by two. Right. Yeah, so half your strength. So which is three. Three. And then plus your difference. Which is three. Three. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you so you wrench her neck. Alright. And um uh, you don't kill her outright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those were my two moves. Okay. All so right. There's nothing else I can do. Okay. So, um, uh, so yeah. So Pedro is is also running in. Uh, Sedna, what are you doing? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just had I'm to do going something. to. Um, <laughs> it was a, it was an experiment. As soon as the uh, the drone starts to shoot, I yes. run and grab pebbles. Uh huh. Yes. And. Um, so he, uh, Pedro, starts mm-hmm. to run. Mm-hmm. I am going to shoot through him at. Um, Fatima. Fatima. You gotta Fatima. do what you gotta do, mm-hmm. right? At yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah. Hardcore. Jesus Christ. It's a, <laughs> it's a bloodbath. All right. We're so, in it now. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas Christ. Christmas Jesus. Said that Opal, do you guys even want any help? Because I can just stay here on the floor. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just make sure we have a way to get uh, out of here. Okay. It depends on how badly it goes. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm afraid and of. I would keep that way through the stairwell clear for us. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and uh, do your do your agility plus firearms. You're gonna okay. shoot right through that street, sweet troll. Oh, Pedro. His breath was. <laughs> how <laughs> <laughs> dare you? Bad breath. Once it. again, he's corp. <laughs> yeah. He is. Yeah. yeah. So yep. agility plus my weapon, right? Oh uh, yeah, firearms, okay. yeah. Oh, for, let's see, yep. Yeah. So let me just double check. Oh, that's one true. Yeah. No one likes Corp. Yeah. You, you can't like Corp if you're Shadowrun. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you work for Corp, you don't like Corp. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dang. Oh, shit. Okay, I got two successes. Oh, I got two. Yeah. Okay, so you do your, your basic, uh, what is it, 9P of damage? Yes, nice. All right. 
<clears throat> All right, well, that's enough to take out his armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... Do any of the bullets go through to what's your no. butt? No. Yeah. None of them can go, to, go through to him. Nope. All right, so, oh, but... Right. Sedna gets a second attack because this is a combat situation, yes. and she also gets a plot point. Mm-hmm. That's right. So oh, you get super. a plot point that you can use this combat. Okay. And, um... Hmm? What is your mind? <laughs> Did she get the plot point? Well, she does, but here. <laughs> There. What the heck? There, there's you your combat plot point. Give her no. Oh, not your shells. Oh, no. What have I created? I know. Uh-oh. We're fighting over a better No, that'll no, no, just differentiate it as a combat yeah, plot point. Yeah, it'll be a combat point. That's the main reason I did that. Okay, so then I. Uh, uh-huh. Larkins need some GM plot points. Yeah. Oh. Some tiny troll or something. Well, I mean, if, if we're going to be stopping Shadowrun after this, I don't think it's. <laughs> no, not after this. We not still not have after a lot this session. session. No, we have sessions to do. We go. have to decide when we're going to wrap it Natural up. But we're, we're, we're you know. They could be like a mini Sean Connery heads. Yeah. <gasps> yes, make tiny Sean Connery. No, just think of a bunch of Zardoz heads. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Um, no, we're not ending or, this. We're a bunch point. of little Edies. Make a bunch oh, of mini yes, Edies. Little Edies. Edies. <laughs> All right, so um, you do get a second attack, so fire away. Super. Mm-hmm. Agility down. plus firearms. Firearms yeah. again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to spend an edge? Do you have any edges to spend on Yes, I do. Is, <laughs> is Pebbles a shadow amp? Mm. Oh. Um, Questions you don't expect to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it's Pebbles no. a shadow amp. Because my rifle is a shadow amp, so uh, just making sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. How yeah. is a gun a shadow amp? You add special stuff on top of it. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. I, my bandolier is um, mystic armor. Um, mm-hmm. All right, so then just agility plus firearms. Yep. Yeah. And, but if you're spending an edge, then that makes a four, five, or six a success. Yeah. And you get an extra die. And an extra die. Mm-hmm. I got stuck on the edge that allows you to reroll your failures. I don't know why. Just what do you mean you got stuck on it? I got stuck on like I feel like that's the only thing you can do with uh, the edge. Ah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Get these. So I got. I get, I'm still trying to get understand the rules. I mean, the edge can also play base for you too. That's mm-hmm. another thing that the edge can do. Ooh, mm-hmm. no, that's no. a lot of ones. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> I get the joke. I'm just refusing to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single four. Wow. Oh, but oh. five. Oh, wait, was that? No, it wasn't. No, okay. Uh, yeah. Five. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, running. So far. Yep. Five. I got four successes. Yeah. Nice. So five. that is yes. a that is a ten, oh. and he has he has ten p. Oh. So <laughs> you take him out. <laughs> nice. Pedro Nixon is no more. Oh. Great. Oh. oh. So he gets for working for Corp. Yeah. 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 So, so, so a couple of these bad boys go right into his back, mm-hmm. and uh, or butternut, we hardly knew he. And Big he plan. is, and he is out. So, Fatima. Oh, ten yes. Is it's just under him. Fatima is yeah, under yeah. is under you. Under you, me. You, you, yeah. You he's like, he's like, oh, oh he was going boom. for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, you've he, got. He did the no. <laughs> yeah. Side leap, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. so yeah. So she is uh, she is going to obviously activate the drones that she still has control over and try and uh, try and do some damage to you. Now does she know which of her drones is not functioning? She's just sending out a, a, a general distress command. signal. Okay. Yeah. So she's not aware. No. No. No, she's not rigged in with them or anything. Oh, maybe you can make that one shoot her. Since you're still controlling it while you're holding her. Because if she dies, the drones won't have any orders anymore. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to think like what would be the smartest thing to do. Um, do you want help, Opal? You do what you've got to do, man. I can't. I'm not talking to anybody right now. Yeah. <laughs> Opal's on autopilot. Cats up. No, I, I, I am firmly Opal's in the pilot smart. seat. No, I'm Look at firmly in the pilot. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All right, so roll your logic plus uh, you close gave, combat. You guys gave her a power suit. <laughs> That's not her power suit. No, her I, I, didn't, I would just say for the record, I did not give her that power suit. Mm. So my logic, bad. Logic plus my drone? Logic plus close combat. We want a real fight. Okay, so I don't know what yeah. my close combat is. Yeah, this is what? what? Uh, it's close. Finally, we're yeah, not fighting through uh, it like butter. Yeah. <laughs> That's like weird. Like butter. Okay. Right. You have an onboard <laughs> skill chip, basically. Yeah, I, I'm aware of how it works. I just didn't know what the skill... I didn't write it down, I guess. Because mm-hmm. I have my strength and agility, but I don't have... In the suit, but I don't have my close combat skill. Wait, I just want to make sure as you, well, I'll let you finish counting first. 
Are those successes or misses? That is... <laughs> That's a good question. Whoa. Um, seven successes. What? Oh. <laughs> <Jesus. Our> drones. <laughs> So I want to ask you when I want to ask Honestly. you I want to ask you a question. <laughs> when you went to twist her neck, were you adding the six dice from your close combat then? No. What were you rolling? I was rolling my strength plus agility. No, my... it's agility plus close combat. So it's still been twelve. It was still twelve. Okay. All right. Good. 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 All right. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Oh, so there's. Wait, wait, so no, I got I can five. tell these two are like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> so you <laughs> extra die for that? No. No, she No, I rolled she, the right number. It just happened no, it was, to be the right number. It just happened number. to be the same number. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong stat, but same number. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, it's written down now. Happy okay. Accident. So I only got five <laughs> yeah, exactly. successes, so you're fine. You're fine. The the drone opens she's up and just, yeah, she's fine. Well, I would everybody. think maybe some of the, the little uh, tranquilizer ones, like, just bounce off of me. Yeah, yeah. That, that for sure. And then one of the drones opens up on you and, and maybe you, like, actually roll over and use Fatima as a shield. Oh, so Jesus. the drone's like, abort, you know, like pulls oh, up and yeah. fires more bullets into the crowd, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, wait, I'm gonna spend a, spend a plot point and roll an exploit die. No. Yes, definitely. No. So, right in the crowd. So yeah, oh. it's, it's just stitches right across the backs of some people who are fleeing Jesus. out. Jesus, wow. Again, too real. Uh, yeah, and, I know. Um, what it's happened to keeping it is. Bad timing. Come Sorry, on. Guys. Bad timing. Very bad timing. Next thing I run is not going to have any guns in it. Yeah, please. Uh, and please. then... Please. And then, uh, Sedna, you're going to get targeted as well. Okay. Oh, I assumed as much. Uh, yep. I still have a little bit more. I'm sure you do. Why can't it ever go stealthy? <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken that plot point earlier when you had the chance. <laughs> no, I'm taking it now for saying, why can't it ever go stealthy? <laughs> I'm laying there just yelling that with like four cover on. He's like, what are you talking about? Oh, man. All right, so it's logic plus uh, firearms for you, said now. Okay, logic. Logic, yes. Ooh, I only have two of those. <laughs> <laughs> two of those. Not a lot of logic. <laughs> two of those logics. Plus firearms? Yeah. Okay. I've got some logics. You have two successes. Mm. Yes, you're right. Okay, so I got a uh, four. Uh oh. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Uh, so that's <laughs> so that's eight p. So your what's your armor? armor? My armor. I is it, uh, bubbles is it on 12? the far left on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Left, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so it's the um not the bold in ones. So that right. is nine plus I have mystic armor. Yes. Okay. So just go Which ahead and is, mark uh, uh, twelve. Great. So go ahead and mark eight bubbles off of your armor. Okay. Oh, but you're you're otherwise fine. Okay. Okay, cat. I'm just at a loss. I just <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing there going I'm laying there holding Kamarov down going, What <laughs> can't it ever go stealthy? Is Fatima down? <laughs> yeah, what? I'm going okay, to ask. You can spend, a, you can spend a plot point huh? to interject an narration yeah, if will. you want. All right. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, so can I, um, I would like to strangle her. Okay. Can I compress right. her airway? Uh-huh. She's yeah. also been shot in the back, right? No. 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 Oh, that's right. No, no, they no. Died yeah, anyway. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I want to compress yeah. her airwave. Yeah, that's fine. Airwave. All right. Close combat again. So that is six plus six. Yeah. With my agility, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And that's that. Pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so I just have four. Oh, is that all? <laughs> well, all right. She only had two dots remaining. And I got zero successes on her defense. So yeah, you you crush her. You crush her. her crush. Crush. She's dead. She's dead. Her. Okay. So with that, I get up mm -hmm. and I go to where the front of the where like the stage is, mm -hmm. and I say, <laughs> "Factory farming inspires us to break what decent people think of as unbreakable." <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. And then I walk off the stage. Oh wow! Okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, so Ken, you're in the stairwell. <laughs> yeah. An alarm so started. Together, I guess. Uh -huh. You yeah. hear screaming outside, mm -hmm. and then the and then the the fire door bursts open, mm -hmm. and people start you know piling in basically. Yeah. Uh, you have your rifle out. 
Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, so so as soon as the door flies open, like the people in the front are like, ah, you know, they like, kind of recoil back, you know. Yeah. yeah, so they so well, they they scatter. They're they're trying to go down, right? Yeah. I was up behind. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they can go oh, okay. down still. All right, so yeah, so so some of them so, see you and they're like, yeah, you I'll, know. I'll just, just start running. shouting, evacuate down, evacuate down. Okay. <laughs> he okay. sounds like security. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're in the uh, uniform. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You said Super. someone noticed me earlier, right? Yes, you were noted. What? Oh, what else are you gonna do though? Or is uh, then I'm gonna run up to the fifth floor. Once once the tide's moving mm-hmm. in the right direction, I'm gonna make my way up to the fifth floor. Stow my uh, my rifle underneath my jacket, mm-hmm. uh, and then get on the monorail. Without everyone. <laughs> it runs every five minutes. Yeah, You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> this, was, uh, this was you not the plan. To. I agree. This uh, is not the plan. <laughs> um, Monorail. 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 Is there a chance yes. to track a bend? <laughs> not in your life, my Hindu friend. Yes. Uh, sorry, Kat, the crowd has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused. So the droid, the droid has spoken. <laughs> I'm gonna not because I do draw attention. I am not gonna follow you guys because you already are in hot water enough. <laughs> I'm gonna since there's general pandemonium. I'm gonna run out the front door with Kamarov. Yeah. Okay. And and that just figure that I'll meet you guys either at the next monorail. Like I'll calm you and be like I'll either meet you at the next comrade monorail station or at at base. Either way. Okay. Or whatever yeah. happens next, but so All I'm right. run out the front door. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, so we'll get to Sedna last. Uh, Opal, you're just walking away. Flashback. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Spend those Sorry. plot points. All right. So, so <laughs> let's let's. I'm just picturing this as like a scene in a, in a film or whatever. Okay. So I think the flashback is if you're just watching Opal walk down the stage, the steps of the stage, uh-huh. walking down the stage. And I'm sure because it's a second floor auditorium that there's a staircase going up uh-huh. to that, you know, from the ground floor. So walking down the steps just very calmly. Mm-hmm. And so let's flash back to her last realignment. And so she's in sort of like her droid is, you know, empty. And if we go into the matrix, um, we can see her um, having a conversation with Pulsar, who is mm. the DI um, terrorist. Uh, no, he's an advocate oh, for right. <laughs> for DIs. Terror advocate. Yes, mm-hmm. and he says Terror-kit. they're they're speaking in code, and it's essentially he, him saying that um, sometimes you have to break a few eggs in right. order to further the cause. Um, I'm relying on you to do what you think is best mm. to further the movement. Oh, this is why you wanted to kill her in public. I know why this is complicated because they made you. Mm. But still, you know everything now and you're able to act on it. Ooh. Wow. We'll just dissolve back. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm going to say that because you look like every other Opal unit in the building, it's, you know, you can just walk right out. With Sedna. Except Sedna's, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, so what is Sedna's dramatic uh, or non-dramatic? Yeah, as, I was going as to the just case may be. cover your back. I was going to walk backwards. Well, mm-hmm. you still look like security, so. Yeah, that's true, but I'm true. holding you're gonna, now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like, it's like and that. You I mean, got you're something security, out of the locker. But... You know? Yeah, and you're all, oh, yeah, yeah. The alarm's sounding, so. So just start shooting random other Opals. You were trying to. Yeah. <laughs> when unfortunately you caught Pedro in the crossfire, but yeah, what could I do? I mean, for Opal, yeah, he got it. Collateral thing. damage. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. I think that's. Reasonable. I love it. I love that. <laughs> so you all just sort of, in your yeah. own ways, melt away. Yeah. yeah. Easy in, easy out. Chaos maximum achieved. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, very much so. Very oh much yes. So. <laughs> Shut around. <laughs> this is why everyone's BTLs are a normal, simple life. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what I'm wondering what Ken is gonna do to uh, come he, down from this mainline he, fifty lotteries. <laughs> yeah, he just he unships the uh, the security guard BTL and like drops in like I don't know like the equivalent of an ashtray in the in the monorail, <laughs> and then yeah. you know starts jonesing for a lane BTL. Oh man, mm. need my lane man. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else just doesn't satisfy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing some billboards over in town. It's like, Lane, anything else just doesn't satisfy. <laughs> Newest BTL model available now. 
Another one is like, come get your lane on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're holding a cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like his portrait on the obsidian yeah, portal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, All right, right. So you're on the monorail. You guys are walking out the front. I ran out the front. Are we going out the front? Yeah. Or, yeah. Thought, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk so just Connor, like one of the exits. Yeah. Like yeah. One of the ground. One of those like you know just act service, like you're supposed to be yeah. there kind right. of. Okay. Yeah. Service exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great. Is our van parked nearby? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Where's our van? Yes, yeah, so I'm getting in the van like just totally like as though this is just any other normal job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you're seeing me do. Okay. Um, and I admire your coolness. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> so as I'm starting the, the van, I tell Sedna, remember Sedna, a country can be like daytime television. There are no winners, just losers. <laughs> Again, too real. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty harsh. That's pretty uplifting, Opal. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> As she uh, settles herself at the um, yeah. um, the gun that we have, just in case. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was what is it that can be like daytime television? A country. A country. <sighs> All right. So what's what's your what's your post run what mo? You like, how long do you want to lay low? <laughs> when do you want to meet up with Desmond Crisis? Oh, I think Desmond Crisis will learn about this uh, immediately. I, I <laughs> well, think Desmond might need to come to us. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm spending yeah, so. a plot point because oh. uh, I have so many. Yeah, we've given you so many. <laughs> that's the main thing. You didn't so get to do plot points. Anything. That's my main beef as a GM is I just get all these You're plot lousy. points and I feel bad for not spending them. You're lousy with plot points. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exploit Cat's uh, negative uh, quality. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love this, Sage. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Cat's face is the one that ends up plastered all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, because they have clear security cam footage of you <gasps> flipping off the cams. I didn't yeah. flipping them off. I just walked in. Oh, no, you flipped you them said, off. Yeah. And uh, I said, no takes these yeah, back. Yeah, I said, should I? And Opal was like, no. And you, I was like, fine. You fuck. pantomimed it. A pantomime is just did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, the one person you didn't want to do this at all. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> angry. I mean, so, yeah, so the, so the news is full of all this, you know, stuff about a terrorist attack at the Mitsuhama Tower. The, you know, this is one of the one of the terrorists was, you know, seen on security footage. Does this happen before or after I part ways with Komarov? After. Okay. Yeah, this is just in the, the, the okay. 12 so hours. He's not, like, exactly. he's yeah, not standing right. there like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But he probably likes this about it. I, I think he probably sees himself yeah. when the two of you exit the building yeah. together. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. actually. He's yeah. sought out as an accomplice. Yeah, yeah police want this oh, man no. for questions. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah. did tell him the bar I hang out at, so if he ends up on the run, he can come find me. <laughs> all, right. all right. So I'm all over the news as a terrorist. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep. That's not fair. <laughs> Shadowrun. <laughs> That's also the pen dragon element. I didn't ask for this. I didn't this. ask for this. Sure. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. <laughs> Um, you the club. I feel like yeah. you're now officially part of the EOR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like if it wasn't official before. Guys, you right. Fuck this game. Hey, man, I, I, I made it my own, man. Uh, um, shit, what am I going to do? What? I, I can well. see a good avenue for a uh, for a duet for uh, for Kat. She's got to get out of Seattle now. That's <laughs> yeah, true. Right. Fuck. Time to get on a plane for Biloxi. Biloxi. <laughs> <laughs> Biloxi. Like, you know, escape from Seattle only instead of Kurt Russell and Cat. Yeah. Um, is there any way I can mitigate any of that with my master hacker friend? So that I can at least walk yeah. down the street without yeah. it being like, the master terrorist. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that next time. Okay. <laughs> this is just in the immediate aftermath. The heat is, oh. the heat is particularly on Cat. Which means... <laughs> That I have to sit in our goddamn hideout and eat nothing but cry nuts for the next two weeks, which I hate. We'll bring I food. hate cry nuts. I mean, you just don't want to ask Ken to bring you food because he's just got no taste anymore. <gasps> right. Yeah. He, he just can't. brings back. <laughs> I'm eating this delicious biscuit. That's a coaster. <laughs> 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 it's kind of delicious biscuit. It's yeah. delicious. <laughs> I've seen him going out and getting like donut croissants that are not cry nuts, right. but they're donut croissants, and he brings them back, and I'm like, no. no. <laughs> 
So, so two weeks. Do you guys want to lay low for two weeks, or what? I mean, what do you want? I, to I don't think yeah. I need to lay low. My my face is not anywhere. So true. No, it's not. So I can go meet. Ken with got a way to clean it, actually. I, I know. Everybody. I can go meet with the fixer, and that's uh, true. You no, can meet up with crisis. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Decided from the beginning that we were going to talk no. to him about not releasing the chip and about finding a different thing. And, and, and yeah, this and is that not means fair. He's coming to us. We also talked about a completely different plan. I did not happen. do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the crowd doing my job, minding my own business. Oh, I know, and I'm doing this for you. You're going to need some travel money to get out. No. <laughs> Only, I mean, it's kind of up to Ken. I'll go confirm with Desmond exactly how much he can pawn it for. Okay. And yeah. since uh, since Kat did offer to purchase it on her own, mm -hmm. um, to the buyer. That's for alternative favors that are worth more. Just to see. Just no, to... I I do the job. I get paid. That's right. So either oh. he pays me or you pay me because he's not paying me <laughs> for what just happened. I didn't even fire a shot. <laughs> he can pay you an exposure. <laughs> 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 All right. So so when you're setting up the meeting with him on the comm, mm. he says that he has already had an offer. Mm. So you can discuss counter offers when you meet him. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, so so we'll leave off with you uh, back at um, <clears throat> Jim's King Size Chicken Hole. Oh yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, bar that uh, Desmond hangs out in. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're meeting up with him, and uh, he actually has somebody there with him. Oh, it's a, uh, a rather uh, grizzled-looking dwarf. Mm. Uh, with a little blonde goatee. Did he graduate from mascot? And uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's, a, good question. What, that's a good question. What is the first thing that he said? <laughs> yes. and a little and a little bowler hat. And so as Desmond uh, welcomes you uh, to his booth, he says, "Ah, uh, oh, yes, uh, uh, Ken. I just wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone. This is uh, this is Jupiter. He's uh, he's given me the counter offer." And uh, and you look over and you see that it is indeed the dwarf from the rooftop that shot at me. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, and he says, I know who you are. And so we'll leave it off there. Whoa. He Sean Connery says. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not gonna be here next week. <laughs> oh. He knows who I am and he blows me away. Yeah, right. <laughs> now are you happy that we decided to sell the stupid fucking thing? Yeah. <laughs> we get to hear his Connery voice Do again. It. <laughs> well, maybe maybe Ken doesn't come back for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. There is that is well worth a character death. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you off screen, but we'll we'll just leave your fate up to uh, up to a big question mark for a little while. Do we need good. to figure out any part of that? Since I mean that's a crucial plot point we're ending on, but you're not gonna be here. Mm -hmm. gonna, I think we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Ken Ken just disappeared, right? Yeah. You know, like because he wouldn't have told you. No. Hey, I'm gonna go negotiate the sale of this chip. No, you know, he just I think he would have off. because he would have been like, you can't come. <laughs> well, all the more reason to just disappear. To just I, I don't think I mock you for that sort of thing. No. Yeah. yeah no. no. Yeah. You mock me about milk all the time. <laughs> Well, that's no, not. I, I really don't think I do. Putting out sauces of milk. No. <laughs> you mock me about having to get you milk. <laughs> the mock man mocks the the, the mocketh. He no, mock no. who he mocks, mocks last laugh. No, no, last what is it? Mock fest. <laughs> mock ya, ing ya, bird ya. I <laughs> no, it's the mock man mocks the mocker. Um, the mocker mocks the man. The, the mocked man mocks the mocker. Something like he that. He who mocks the best mocks last. Anyways, Shadowrun. It's, it's from uh, Mock Mock. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> the no, it's not Captain. I've got it here. It's from not, uh, the wise man mocks the mocker. The mocker mocks the man. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. Well, um, can, can Opal be clean. like just realigning for like that whole two week period? If you want to, if you want to have a two week downtime, yeah. Maybe one week. One week. Okay. I think. I think Kat needs to stay hidden for longer than anybody. I don't think you guys do. Yeah, no, I just want to realign. I feel actually better when I'm realigning than I do in the meat world. Mm -hmm. I might have to kill myself. <laughs> That's, and that is, a, that is a suitable... <laughs> Shadow <Shut> run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that that's a legitimate thing. For real. Yeah. Like... And Sen is going to go off and look for more nerfs. Yeah. Absolutely. Sen is just on the fact that, yeah, I love my Shadowrun line. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Shadow and live, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Larkin said it's what it is. The wise man mocks the man, the mocked man mocks the mocker. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that made it more interesting. Oh, that was action packed. That was great. Yeah. That was good times. No, I loved it. I, I'm not trying to be like, I, but I think, I don't know, if her thing is to always act in honor and all this shit went down, no, like, I know. maybe she has to, like, give us a thought. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, I don't know, do something to create some kind of, like, replenishment of honor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, uh, it was a pretty fucked up situation, oh. man. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. You just straight up fucking murdered that bitch. <laughs> that was pretty yeah, solid. It was really intense.